And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the Let's That's go. Not Christian Podcast. Yo, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, y'all? It's your boy Switch. I'm here with your man Jimmy. I'm here with your man Ant. I'm here with your man Jay. And we got some very, very special guests from Hog Mob. We got Dante, J Rock, Ivy, and my man Diamond. What's going on, fellas? Yeah. yeah welcome, welcome, welcome. This episode, this episode's nuts. <laughs> it's a party. Yo, for real. Yeah, it is man. a party. West Coast party. Right. <laughs> I'm, 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 we got one southerner on. on Yo, I forgot my Dickies suit, man. I forgot to rock my Dickies. But... <laughs> right. And the stars the or the Cortezes, you know? <laughs> yeah. He was That's just it. talking about that. That's it. <laughs> the Cortezes. <laughs> right. What's going on, options. man? How was y'all week, fellas? Anything interesting happened this past week? Oh, man. Uh, For me, Poor just life. grinding. That's it. Grinding. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be you. Yeah, I'll be. We were we, we was trying to get you for a minute. We're like, yo, what's up, man? You're like, yo, I'm grinding late nah. every night. I can't. <laughs> like, nah. After December. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's sad to say, but man, well, I ain't going to say it's sad. It's actually a good thing with everything that's taking place in the world, this whole COVID 19 thing, and God still keep you afloat. Like, right. I could say for me, I ain't stopped not one bit since it feast, came. Feast during the famine, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yo, yes, sir. God keeps his for sure. For sure. How about y'all, man? Ivy, J. Rock, Diamond. What y'all been How's up to? Y'all man? week, man. Man, for me, same thing. Just dealing with uh, work, renovation. My house has uh, been a work in progress since, like, I want to say October. And yeah, it's been. Um, Quite the merry-go-round. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and whatever you want to try to compare it to, it's been, it's been a wild ride. But uh, me and the missus, then, you know, we didn't fall through a whole lot. So, you know, this is just another notch on our belt, so to speak. Right. But, yeah, that's right. about it. Grinding on the house, grinding, um, you know, new music coming out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, videos dropping, all that good stuff. So just staying grinding in all kind of aspects. So, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, that's one, one other thing, too. Our local church just, uh, we just bought another building. Hey, and, praise God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me rephrase that. We, fun, boy. We, we, we actually, we're going to be leasing it until we see, you know, so, what it do. And, yeah, uh, but, but, but for the most part, uh, it's a bigger, bigger uh, uh, establishment to have, you know, the body of Christ and uh, just functions in the local community and whatnot. So I'm um, excited about that. I think we start our first. Um, congregating in as soon as next month. So I'm excited about that. That's about it. So oh, nope. fine. That's That's you're all right. That's up. Your, your state that. your state doesn't have any restrictions or um yeah gonna put any yeah, I mean, on? No, they pushing the line out here, but it's like it's it, it's still like uh you know the church conviction is you know to go through and, and congregate right now. They they're not saying that we have to stay home. Uh, when it comes to gathering on Sundays, actually, but they all- actually they did. They they just shut us down today. Today, wow. the breaking news, uh, breaking news. Damn. They just so Cali getting uh, shut they down. Sent like an amber alert out to the cell phones today. Uh, that went out uh, the other day too. Yeah, I guess yeah, certain yeah, cities and certain they counties. Did. Yeah, yesterday down. they put out one too. Yeah, yeah. For all but, but before California. it's meeting, I don't think they could. I don't think they stopping us from meeting because here. In Riverside County, I live in Riverside County now. They like the the sheriff and everybody is saying like, or the they, sheriff, but not they right. still, We can still do I, that. I ain't gonna lie to they you. Ain't trying I, to get involved. But the thing is, those people who keep their establishments open, whether it's restaurants or hair, or nail salons, they got to worry with worry about the health department. They're the ones going to shut them down. The I, sheriff ain't even tripping. He's like, as right, long as y'all right. don't make it a a big gathering, they ain't tripping. But the health departments. Let them catch you. They're going to come in there and shut you down. Yeah, they come in with that tax, right? So far, right. so far though, <laughs> I ain't seen nothing changed over the last few hours. Like, 
Yeah. <laughs> it's still some toilet paper in the store. Like, <laughs> yeah, we good it's right now. You still get to get chin- chinos, right? Some Chinese food if you want. I, no, right. no. I'm just going to leave that at that. <laughs> <laughs> There ain't no toilet paper out here. For y'all, huh? boy. Nah, toilet hey. paper been gone. I don't know what they doing. Right. Hey, hit me for a roll. I'm taxing <laughs> Two for five, two for five. <laughs> Everybody know how we do it on the got to. <laughs> The West Coast got that. <laughs> Like, hey, look, look, you paying for my time. I went to the store and actually got it. So hey, you know, that's going to cost you extra yeah. dollars. <laughs> it limited you to one pack, though. You couldn't go in there and stock up, though. They, that's true. They, they, that's true. One pack. Exactly. You get more than one, they're going to take it away from you. Yeah. That's crazy. Cold. Yeah, that is wild. Yep. Wow. Diamond, you in, where you at? You in you out in Cali now or you you in the South? I'm in the South. I'm in uh, North Carolina now. Actually, oh, right now, my job got me in New Orleans. I'm in New Orleans right now. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. So, so your job got you traveling around. Yeah, it got me traveling around, man. So you got to adjust to the re- restrictions depending on the state because you're like, oh. Yo, yo, <laughs> that's wild. I mean, out here, they yeah, tripping right? on the masks out here, dog. Yeah? Yeah, they tripping. Uh, they, they wear masks outside walking down the street. Oh, oh, it's like that. It's, yeah, it's crazy. You walk in the store, they like, oh, you need a mask, sir. You need a mask. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, they, they tripping hard on the mask out here, man. But can yeah, I don't mind going to store with it, but outside, like, it's too much, man. Yeah, they got serious. people wearing them in the gyms, too, right? That's wild to me. Shoot, I mean, they, they have like gym setups outside. Like, they got big tarps, yeah. and they got all the machines out there, and people out It's cold. They out there working out anyway. They just don't care. (laughs) Yeah, that's That's serious. Mm -hmm. Yo, I had I had seen um, I had seen Meek Mills. They they dropped Meek Mills been getting some backlash because he was uh, I guess there was some kids that came to his car and were asking. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, they were asking him about. Uh, can I get twenty? Can I get some money? Because they they basically were selling water. Selling water. Yeah. Yeah. And Meek recorded it and was basically like, but I just gave y'all $20 and people were like going crazy on Meek. Like, why, you know, why would you tell those kids that? Why is your energy like that towards them? I mean, I don't know. Did y'all get to see that video? I, I didn't tap that. into that video. I ain't tap into it. Uh, I saw it. Ivy, you seen it? Yeah. I, I see it. What you, you thought, Ivy, when you saw it? <laughs> Man, man, I'm gonna tell you right now. Two things come to mind, right? Like, okay, with okay, when Meek Mills was, with you know, he was, the window was rolled down. It looked like he was yeah. in the neighborhood, in the hood somewhere, in in a Rolls Royce at that. Yeah, he, so he yeah, he was in Atlanta, yeah, right? Was he was yeah. and and so anyway, um, it looked like he ran across some young entrepreneurs, and mm-hmm. they was selling the waters and whatnot, and you you. And they was being respectful, you know, uh, saying, hey, hey, uh, big bro, big bro, you know, uh, yeah. term of endurance and whatnot. Right. Um, one of the two things I immediately thought was he's either shysty or he's trying to teach them something. Right. right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because for anybody that know what it's like to actually hustle and eat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, then you have to realize that it takes it takes hard work. It takes like you on your grind dedication because you know that I can't depend on nobody, the system, anybody right. to make, you know, to, 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 to give me mine. So anyway, yeah. I started to think like maybe he's trying to teach them how it was for him coming up to, to grind and, you know, and flourish. Yeah. Also, <laughs> but yo, being, uh, before you get into your next center, point, to, right. before you get to your next point, that yeah. that's good because, um, he was asking them, what, what am I supporting? He kept asking them that. What is it that I'm supporting right now? And they right. were like, yo, we, we just selling water. You supporting us. And he's like, yeah, but what, what's the cause? Like, what, what do y'all, you know what I mean? So that's a good point um, and, a, and a good view to see it in. But yeah, keep on with your next. Yeah. And then, of course, the next kind of obvious is like, well, either he's like, I really don't care. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I got mine. I did for me and my people. I don't owe y'all nothing, <laughs> and which, 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 which would have been scandalous. 
Right. I, I would have understood it being a Christian, seeing a pagan act like a, a pagan. That doesn't surprise me. Pagans are mm. supposed to act like pagans. They're supposed right. to be greedy. They're supposed to be scandalous. They're supposed to be shy. That's what pagans are. That's what they do. Um, right. So I'm, I'm not trying to, I mean, it's kind of hypocritical seeing uh, the pagans act vice versa if it don't contradict their, uh, their, I would say their content. And so in Meek Mill's con- uh, um, in, in his situation, his content is supposed to be about helping out his people and uplifting his own community. And if he did in, in his own neighborhood, then I say, OK, then maybe he just was uh, still being, you know, somebody that shy. He's like, you know, or by the say, look, I don't owe Atlanta nothing. Atlanta ain't my city, whatever. Right. Which would have still been consistent. So I, I wouldn't have been mad at him either way. Did he give mm-hmm. him some? He gave him some money, though, right? He gave him twenty. Yeah, twenty. And he, he said they should split it. He it, said they should split it, it up. There was like five. Right. There was like right. what? Six and, kids, and, seven kids. There? Something like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but twenty dollars. You know, one other thing I wanted to. Yeah. One other thing I wanted to mention. <laughs> I'm just saying, so Dante doing the math. Wait, twenty dollars. Well, what, what was the backlash from? Was it the fact that he got all these these millions and, and only gave twenty? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know that what was I mean? yeah. yeah. And that the kids uh, were like, and the kids were like. That's all you're going to give us? Like, you can't give us more, big bro? Like, you can't help look out? You know what I mean? And then he's already uh, had, so he's already having a couple situations in, in his old city. So, you know, the rappers jump on that right away. Like, oh, look. I'm going to say this. So I'm going to say this. He did two things. He did two things for him. One, he sold a seed. Regardless of what the amount was, right. he sold, he sold. All right. Two, the fact that he recorded it and he put it out there just put the whole movement on steroids. That's probably worth right. more than any of this. That's right? true. It's worth more than the 20 because now you got the publicity out there. And yeah, if they true. start up, if they was hurry up and go home and run the run, go fund me. They <laughs> yeah. Brand is up. Well, that, well, that, yeah, that's what people were saying in the comments. What's their cash app? I'll send them the hundred dollars. I'll send them the that's, money. The, that's right. the thing too is, is that so, he set the stand. He set the standard with twenty dollars. I'm pretty confident that nobody who they encountered that day spent twenty dollars on water. And number right. two. Everybody else that comes across them now is going to spend twenty dollars, at least twenty dollars. They, 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 the standard, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. At <laughs> least twenty dollars. Bottle of water, right? This is the same water meatball, right? This is that water. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that hood thirst, yeah, it's a wrap. Right. <laughs> Some Rolls Royce water, right here. Yeah. The the so, only thing I didn't like was when the when the when the camera came out, like you know what I mean? Like you ain't got to record all that, you know what I mean? Uh, and I, I kind of felt like. I mean, I don't know what these kids' condition is in, but it kind of remind me of, um, I guess, with that beggar, right? That Lazarus beggar situation where it's like they at the gate asking for money. And even though they hustling, you know what I mean? And they're kids. We don't know what their situation is like. And Meek was just like recording it. You know what I mean? I just kind of felt yeah. like right, you don't need to record all that. But I think there I probably think, is a lesson like, behind I think it. the camera coming out was the best thing in the, that could have happened to their situation. Right. Right, right. Because now they, believe got, that too. they got a tangible moment, right? How many times did we go to concerts back in the day and wanted to take pictures with whoever was on stage and then run back to the hood, say we knew this dude, like they kept, the moment was right. captured, whether it was by him or, right. or, or or whoever else had the camera. They captured a monumental moment that probably could would change their life for the rest of their life now. Because now hustling is in the right perspective, right? So, yeah. like, um, I use me as an example. I grew up seeing cousins and, and, and uncles do their thing, but social media wasn't out then. So mm-hmm. all you had was a picture if you was with your cousin or they, how do you know this person? Now they see you wiggle because of social media allows it, right? But the reality is those monument, uh, monumental moments, yeah. to be captured even if it was just with him the fact that he pulled this camera out makes the monumental moment even bigger right yeah. so so i think i think at the end of the day um what they say all publicity is good publicity, good publicity. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah i think i think it benefits some more on the long run but then at the same time i think like a real hustler i think like but my son Go ahead, take that video. We finna set up this GoFundMe. <laughs> I mean, we finna right. get this college. But he kept asking, if he kept asking, 
what is it for? What is it for? What is it for? Oh, I got what it's for now. Like, I got <laughs> right. what it's for now. Right. We push this and um, we set up yeah. the five twenty five five twenty nine plan and everything. You know what I mean for, for college. Real. I've been when yeah. I was their age putting out music, man. I I opened up the trunk. I had a whole lot of nose, <laughs> a whole right. lot of nose right. trying to push a push a tape. And for a dollar or whatever it was, I was getting I was getting a, a tape. What was they going for back then? Ivy, uh, 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 like yeah, like like you, no no, you could still get like five bucks, four, three, three. You you could take three. Back then, but back three. then, asking somebody for a dollar was a lot of money, dog. It was, it was. Right. You know me, I'm a single king, so I'm not giving you. 20 songs for no. 10 <laughs> No, you don't get right. You're right. It's about a dollar, two dollars. I'm telling you. That's a dollar, two dollars. Yeah. Right. We used to just be bold. We used to be bold and ask for more, but it was about a dollar, two dollars. Like, 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 that's what we would settle, settle at. You know, right. one of the things that I've seen, honestly, is like, in that whole ordeal with, you know what I'm saying, with Meek Mills, it's like, he could have actually, regardless, he's been consistent as a pagan, like I said. But here's some things I I, I sort of analyzed. Like he could have actually, and maybe he did later on. Mm-hmm. You know, he could have hopped mm-hmm. off the door and gave him some game. You know what I'm saying? Gave him what he was really trying to teach them. Like this is how your hustle's supposed to be, or this, that, and the third. Or the whole game is not not really telling you. You figuring it out. You know, you know yourself. But being a believer, like I owe it to the generation that's under me to say. Let me show you something because I was right here in the street corner too, selling my right. music or selling right. my water or selling, you know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, I live in uh Hemet, right? And there is a, a Caucasian, a young Caucasian gentleman. I'm going to call him a gentleman. I, I, I have to give him respect because I respect him so much. He's, he's on the main street out here on Florida for hours on a day. And all he has is like lemonade or or orange juice or something, right? And he's out there faithfully for years, and I've seen him, and it's like I patronize him every once in a while to miss his too. But here's the thing: I tell my wife all the time, every time I see him, I, he is going to be something because he doesn't quit. He's about grind. And look, look, and this young kid, he can't be no more than maybe 10, 11 years old. Wow, he's not with no adults. He's always on his grind. I see a lot of me in him, and I'm just like, he's going to do all right by himself because he's not letting anything around him affect what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And he won't be denied. Like, that's his attitude. He can't. He just can't take no for an answer. And mm-hmm. people like that, man, like, you don't have to really give them the pep talk. They already got it already. Mm-hmm. But there are some people in, in this situation, like with Meek Mill, It'd have been good if he would have hopped out and made sure they were straight, kind of check their mind. Teach them the lesson, like you said. Right. Which he probably right. did. But How long y'all been out here? You know, keep yeah. grinding. It's gonna pay off sooner. He could have, you know, I would I would have at least pulled into him like that. So but I anyway. see I can't say this, and and I don't really follow dude like that, but um I can I can almost probably bet he got it, bro. Got it the kids. I've seen Meek Mills. A uh, post where he went inside Walmart or Target and just bought bikes and bikes and bikes yeah. and broke them up in U-Hauls and went and gave them to his hood. I've seen those clips on him, right? Um, yeah, I've seen those clips on him. So, yeah, it. I mean, w- before I was before I was uh, serving Christ, I did good deeds. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so um, every pagan is. Is, is not the most evil person in the world. Um, they just lack the savior, right? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, I've witnessed him sow seed into his own community. And I mean, there's, I mean, there's a list of things that that's why his city came out and supported him when he got into that beef he got into, because he was known in this community for putting in work. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Right. So uh I pray he did. Now y'all got me wishing I had watched the clip. Um, <laughs> it's still out there. But someone who else saw it? Yeah, I seen it. I was going to say what uh, what Switch was talking about as far as on on me and recording it 
is going to make it a public issue. So he can't get too mad when the public got something to say about it. True story. If he ain't want to hear what nobody say, then he should have just gave him private. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. But ain't it, ain't it wild, though, if he had gave given a thousand dollars to each of these kids or a thousand dollars in total, the narrative would be different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Everybody would have been bigging them up. Right. Right. Exactly. But the well, wait, you, know, you, always, you always got those people, though, who always got something to say. And they're like, Why didn't he give him a thousand each? You know, let me tell you, I don't like, only like, think it was, it was the money part. I think it was also his 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 mannerism towards them. Like, <clears throat> hold on. Watch my, yo, watch my car, man. Wait, <laughs> so now, he said that. Yeah, he, he yeah. told him, like, get your, like oh, he had his hand on the car. And he was like, hey, my car. And dude moved his hand and was yeah, like, my bad. Yeah. But he's got a point, though, because you don't know. You know what I mean? Any street dude. Like, I remember one time I was a little kid and this grown man lifted me up and was like, yo, don't you come around here again? You know what I mean? I was a kid, 10 years old. So, wow. so, so I'm going to flip it on you because now y'all saw the video and everything. So I'm here in Atlanta and Meek is in, he's here a lot. So I'm in my mind, I'm figuring he's recording for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And, and I mean, I know the reason why he's recording, but it's like Ivy said, it's a lesson, but he's also watching. So re- I'm going to rewind it. These kids are always there. They're there all the time, right? So they're known for throwing bricks at cars that don't give them money and throwing rocks. Mm. So okay, like my brother, my brother-in-law been down there. He gave, he actually gave him $20 and he got, he got a pickup, right? It's, it's lifted. They jumped on the truck asking for more money mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so like so people watch i think some and it was it was on the news not too long ago and i'm not saying it's those specific kids because there's always different there's always kids there but a lady was there one time i think she gave a dollar um it was on the news a while back and they they dragged out the car and beat her um, uh-huh. over giving a dollar so uh-huh. um so that's why i'm saying meek's approach when he was telling them to back up because I'm sure Meek driven around there plenty of times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He probably felt like I should give him some, but then at the same time, watching him. You know what I'm saying? Because in his mind, he probably like, yo, these probably ain't the same kids. But at the same time, he still got to be on his game. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't know what them little did, kids he, he, carry. Yeah. <laughs> so let, me, let me interject something real quick, too, because I, I agree wholeheartedly. I'll just say this real quick. Mm-hmm. Also, too, it's really up to the older generation to teach the, the, the younger generation just plain old street etiquette. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. I mean, you, you 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 just don't run up on nobody's car like that. You don't know right. what they got in their car or, or, or anything like that. Like, where's your right. daddy at? Or where's your big homies at? Or where's the, you know, the cats that's actually supposed to be pouring into you the way you're supposed to know this stuff? This is common sense. And to put that respect back into the street to where... Even though you street, even though you're from the hood, you can still show the big homies respect when they come through or cats yeah. like me that that you respect, that you listen to come through. And this is how you're supposed to act. I, you know. yeah. But yeah. I could tell, you know, what I'm saying even from the video, because they did respect them. I mean, they were they, they nicely yep. asked them, you know, what I'm saying they moved their hand when he made the comment. You know, what I'm saying everybody yeah. ain't get that respect. Right, you know right, saying? right. So they did. Saying it was old to them to him to reiterate that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you, one thing you want to keep in perspective is, is, I mean, if he's in a Bentley, bro, that's $250,000 vehicle, it, which is also an investment on his behalf, right? Oh, um, I remember being a age, though, man. I remember being like, I was in like third, fourth grade, and me and my bro, we live, uh, we used to go to the gas station in the heart of the hood and mm-hmm. pump pay, pump people gas for them. Mm-hmm. Like that was my first hustle. As, if, if the gas station wasn't popping, we'll run over to the um, grocery store and carry your groceries to your car, right? But then you kind of had, we, we did it so much to where we kind of knew who to ask. So we, right. we we would see you, read you, and uh, 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 how could, what's what's the right word? Uh, uh, dang, I'm 
stereotype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stereotype. You already know. Like, oh, he ain't going, he ain't about to tip us. <laughs> nah, this dude. <laughs> hey, hey. But then that dude that had that car, that dude that hustled, he always came with game. Every single, I don't care if it was the grocery store, it was, I like if we was getting a dollar, he'll throw us five, right? He'll throw us five. Um, and tell us how he appreciated what we doing, what we was mm-hmm. doing was, you know what I mean, on 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 the right uh, right path. But at the same time, I remember leaving with whatever me and my brother made, and then we go terrorize the block. Mm-hmm. So, so I could see, I, right. I, I used to throw rocks at windows and bust windows in, 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 in buildings. So I understand being a hood kid, but wherever they were moving and grooving, they was in the right place to be set up selling water and Bentley's driving down the street. So, I mean, that alone is, is, is uh, uh, a lot of wisdom for the kids. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think overall, overall, I think a lesson was made. Um, a lesson w- was made. And I think the kids got the point, like to even have, to even have a celebrity stop and, and, and speak to you at all. Right. Uh, when Jesus walked through the multitude, um, uh, and a lady who had the issues of the issue of blood tugged at his garment, mm-hmm. he was already mobbing through the multitude until one person tugged. Mm-hmm. Right, this dude driving around, and then some a group of kids tugged on him, and and, right. and regardless of what he gave them, um, I think all of it all together is valuable for them, and I think the end lesson of what uh, what they needed. Regardless if his intentions was right, I think at the end of the day, God blessed them kids on uh, well way beyond right, right. the Man. situation. So yeah, yeah. Or they learned they learned a lesson about. Um, I think Selah said this like we we people are starting to see like their idols right with this whole social media thing mm-hmm. are infallible. They're not perfect individuals. You know what I mean? They're gonna let you down. <laughs> and so these kids are probably seeing it like yo he let he let us down that's meek like you know what i'm saying so yeah man that's brutally honest that's like uh right. <laughs> like your man like the dating consultant who was brutally <laughs> honest with that female <laughs> y'all seen that video man that joke was all Savage. over everywhere man Savage. yeah he said well, she well supposedly this lady wanted a six figure man, right? Somebody, oh man. So hold on, who did, uh, set it up, man? So so this dude is like a, a fashion a consultant, consultant or something like that. Yeah, he's some sort of consultant. Um, I forgot his name. I forgot his. Oh, Kevin Samuels. That's his name. Right, right. He's a dating consultant. No, is that what? He Not is? a dating he's consultant. An image Not. consultant. Yeah, he's an image consultant. That's oh, what it is. Okay. Yeah, man, he has a podcast. And I guess people call him for advice. And uh, this girl called, right? And so what What exactly did she ask him in the video? Oh, I don't know. What well, he, what I she don't asked him. Do remember? I don't think it, it, it just jumped into the convo. It ain't asked. really. Yeah. It just jumped like halfway to the convo. He's like, well, let me let me ask you something. Um, You know, and he went into a series of questions and she right. was like, well, you know, she's looking for a man at six figures. And then he goes, you know what? I get tired of your broads or whatever he said. <laughs> y'all come into this. Was y'all come on man. here and, yeah. you know, y'all average. You know what I'm saying? Well, he, said she was, well, he asked her. He said, he said, rank he yourself. Call herself a five. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> he said, what about with makeup? <laughs> right, right. She said six. She, she went up a notch. <laughs> she said, oh, well, I'm going to say. He said, you can't use seven. <laughs> yeah. Hey, seven is that, that's that, uh, uh <laughs> like, let me hide, I can hide behind <laughs> yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can right, hide right. behind a seven. you know, eight, nine, ten, you up there, like, oh, yeah. eight. Right. And seven is like in between. <laughs> six and lower is like <laughs> right, she said six with, with makeup. And she was like, I don't need the, the, the wig and the and the lashes. No. <laughs> he said, Yes, you do. Right. Yeah. He said, <laughs> yes, you do. I, yes. Saying, he said, no, you don't. I don't remember right. the point, Diamond. Yeah, he did. He, did. Yeah. Yeah. He, he said she said she looked the same without the, the wig yeah. and the lashes and the makeup. He said, No, you don't, or you wouldn't have. It. Right, that's that's true. True. <laughs> savage. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Yo, he kept it straight up. Like, come hey, on. Hey. Yo, I, think he, I think he was legit on uh, talking about, I, you know, calling herself a five, but at the same time, thinking she better than a dude who's a five. And I think he was legit right. about saying, right. you know, he thinks she think she better than people in her own category, her own league. Yeah. I don't, but when I, when, when I listen to her though, honestly, um, I don't think it was based off of external beauty. I think it was based off of where she sit in life and what she wants out of life. Mm -hmm. Um, right. Which she's a business owner, right? Yeah. Right. So, I mean, um, from what I know, from what I know of, like, like I'll give you an example. My wife, my wife, um, my wife wasn't fooling with me. Uh, and I, well, I take that back. She, she, yeah, we went back and forth for years. Right. But reality is this, there was things I needed to clean up in my life to be able to get on my wife's level. Right. right? Um, and at the same time for me too, like, um, I believe being evenly yoked means a lot, right? And I'm not talking about beauty and looks like exterior. I mean, like, what is it that there's things I need to do? There's places I'm going. If you if you're my rib, then what I'm lacking, I need you to compensate for, it, right? Right. Um, and that's what I was getting out of her, but. He went straight based off of beauty. And I believe, I believe there is a man that uh that just want to dine, right? No intelligence, nothing, right? However, um, one of the things he spoke on was like a lot of dudes that rise to success, they usually rise to success with a childhood mate, someone that they were with prior to right. Uh, right. success, right? So I think if if it was me get ministering to her or getting at her, I would say, look, what's wrong with messing with uh, a guy right where you're at and growing him? Like seeing a guy with potential and pouring into the dude to get to the next level, right? Or um, one thing I do know, especially like I've, I've been in Atlanta not saved, right? <laughs> And I've seen some bad ones in Atlanta <laughs> that's like they got their stuff together. She looks like a, a I'm gonna say a seven because I'm not <laughs> gonna, right. She looks like a seven, but reality is you scared to talk to her because her demeanor, her character is that of a ten, mm. right? So like I think there's a lot of things that play play part play part. I would have gave her, I would have gave a real game. He was kind of harsh, yeah. Um, but yeah, he was kind of harsh. But she was, she was real about what she said she was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. She kept she it real, though. Him, but she wasn't backing down. She Yo, wants she, her six figures. Yeah, he <laughs> he said that she's gonna die alone. Yeah. 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 He was, I was like, jeez. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, what that's, that's what happens when you go get therapy from uh, from the wrong therapist. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, I think sometimes and I've met females like this or I've been with females in my past um, where. Um, and this could be even males, too, but people have their life set up already like, well, I'm going to get a house by this age. I'm going to have a child by this age. I'm going to have this female or have this man. And this is going to be my life. And sometimes, you know, we got to take a step back and life doesn't happen like that. You know what I'm saying? You might meet someone that, like the Bible says, beauty fades. You know what I'm saying? So you might meet someone who's maybe not an eight or nine, maybe they are six, but their their attitude, you know what I'm saying? And their vision and their stuff like that. You're like, oh, I could rock with someone. Like, like you said, Dante, this is someone I could really build with, you know what I mean? Right. And, and, and create something. So, you know, yeah. she, she's... She had she I don't think she's going she's going to die alone if she's, you know, really seeking. But if she has so many standards, that might be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Because 
you're going to be nitpicking everybody. Oh, this man, his credit isn't this or this and that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially also, during COVID. It's also <laughs> where you put your worth at. You know, True. you got to be careful putting your worth at a six-figure man because you might get that and miss other things, right? Do you, mm-hmm. right? Do she want a loyal man, a man of respect and honor, or do she want a six-figure man? Right. Right. We need right. to be careful what we place our worth value. in. Yeah. Right. Value, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Six yeah. figures. Right. Let me tell you something. Six figures in Atlanta is not six figures in California. True Trust story. No. Like, it's like, story. hey, it's like six New York. figures here. You, hey, you mess around, still be waiting on the stimulus check around here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you. Right. Yo, that is man, so got true, a segue man. right there. Right. <laughs> I got I I got real suburban bills. And, right. Uh, right. Yeah. Man. Shoot. <laughs> that part. Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. Mm, that's man. true. That's true. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's very true. You man. know what? Also, I mean, just one thing, man. Obviously, like it's <sighs> Diamond, I think you said it too. Like far as the uh, like like the mindset or whatever, or somebody brought it up, um, or even demeanors and whatnot. You know, like 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 man, you could have you could have a six figure, um, I would say attraction, but if you haven't actually dug into what that looks like, right. and you set yourself up for failure, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you have to you have to really study what you want and you have to like, I mean, just as believers, right? We become believers by believing. And mm-hmm. then once we believe, right, we start knowing, right? Uh, we start knowing what we, what, what we believe and then it goes either further than knowing we become what we believe and know. Right. Right. And, and, and so by the grace of God, like, like knowing that and becoming that it's like, well, are you actually at the spot or at the, at, in the in that frequency realm where you actually can say I became what I really want to attract, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm there. I'm I'm the perfect. I'm the suitable mate for that. And a lot of people, if they're honest with themselves, they got to say no. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's good stuff. I I I would say this. I I love old school arranged marriages. I do. Um, reason being, reason being is, um, I think of, I think of, I'll use for example my son, right? I would love to see my son with a woman that is, um, that has the characteristics of my wife, mm-hmm. right? So, right. I would if. I mean, just being blunt and honest, um, I would tell my son, that's not it. Mm-hmm. That's not it. That's not it. Right. Because my wisdom allows me to see things that his wisdom may not. Right. In her situation, I think it. I would I would hope that because she didn't sound like a gold digger. Right. Mm. I, no, I no. Because I, I actually put the video. Yeah, yeah. In, uh, nah, she was already established. <laughs> yeah, in the chat. Yeah. She right. didn't want to go it, do I it. I put it in the chat, right? And I was just, I was like, dang, did dude really just, he was just boom, 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 boom. But she never displayed herself as a gold digger. No. She, she, she her mind is set, right? And if, if, if her parents, poured into her and pushed her. It's kind of like me pushing my son to get to college, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have him hang out with basketball. Well, he plays basketball. We're not going to play with mediocre talent. Right. I need you to play with the best talent. Even if you're underneath them, I need you to play with the best to be the best. Right. 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 So, so, um, like, like in inside hog mob, right. Um, the dudes I rub shoulders with the most are dudes that pour into me, right? So like, like Ivy on the phone. Ivy is a walk-in uh, 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 
Hebrew translation, Greek translation. If you want a word that you don't understand, uh, or you want somebody to give you he's a, a word that's gonna go somebody in the flesh, <laughs> Richter, you call Ivy, right? Um, I hit up Rock. I hit up Rock. Me and Rock discuss marriage, children, finances. Like Rock is my right hand. I'm his right hand. Like like. It's the perfect uh, 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 marriage between me and my bro. And then with 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 Diamond, like like me and Diamond stay pouring into each other like nonstop. So I surround myself with people that that can edify and lift me up and make me the uh, uh, okay. that can sharpen me accordingly. So I can understand what she's saying if she's saying, "Look, I need a brother that is able to bring this to the table." Right. Um, you can find that you can find it uh, uh, in situations that are how can I say it? You can find it in a man that may not be established. But is there a history of that man ever being established? Like, what do I know about this man if he's not there now and he's in his 40s and his 50s? Like, right, right. Like. Yeah, maybe you don't I, know the history on the person, so it's a it's a little different, right? And I mean, over here, and especially in the um in the Christian world, um, go in your church and 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 try to holler at a chick in your church, her past, and and one of the wealthy chicks in your church. That's a five or a six, and the pastor gonna say, "No, you're not going." Uh, no, he uh, <laughs> I, she, no, you got. I know what your tie, what ties you're bringing in. Like, no, right. <laughs> probably not gonna bring you down. Like, yeah, so I mean, that's funny. <laughs> oh, I, I know, you know, I know your ties. Know your ties. <laughs> hey, hey, you giving you me skipped a few? Say yes or no? Bro, Brody's a no. Brody's a no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't come to prayer service on Wednesday. I, I, I ain't seen him all week. He don't right. pay tithes and offering. When the plate come around, he only gives a dollar, right? <laughs> hey, hey, remember coming to America? With, oh, with, yeah. Uh, 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 Hakeem, Hakeem laced, the, laced it right. right. Hakeem, <laughs> he, he showed himself humble. He works his butt off around her father's business, right? And Mr. Jerry right. Curl, he just sitting back living his life, right? Yeah. 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 Hiding under the table. Hey, Jerry Curl, Jerry Curl took all the accolades. <laughs> Pop shut that <laughs> down. Oh, hold on, hold on. This man got his own money. Hey, dad was like, hey, you're <laughs> married. Hey, you're going to the moon, though. Y'all miss prearranged marriages, man, honestly. What way you you miss it because you was around on that top, or you miss it because you missed it? Man, I'm 43. <laughs> I ain't no youngster. But like my grand my grandparents, they had the most beautiful relationship ever. Yeah. Like like, like my grandmother wasn't a wasn't a a, a a a diva in looks. She was a dime piece in spirit, right? right? And one thing I know, one thing I know, my grandfather, man, he would go crazy over that woman. Everybody, right. you mess with that woman. Man, he finna light up the whole city over that woman, right? Wow. Because he loved his wife. He loved her. And what when he came home, if he hustled, grind, when he came home, he knew that she provided a safe haven for him yeah. every single day. Like my wife, I go home, my wife got it laid out for me. When I get off of her, I'm going to eat good. If I don't eat good at my if, with my wife, I go to J Rock House because he cooked, right? <laughs> <laughs> if J Rock didn't cook, I wouldn't go to Brody House. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doc, hey, what you mean? What you be? What you be chefing up, man? Like everybody, everybody, <laughs> yeah, turn their head. Like, oh, she's quiet. See, there you go, put man. Whatever you know, what I mean, it ain't really a specialty. I just get out. I get down. You know. Oh, so hey, hey, that was J. Rock grilling the video. It is, he it is, it is, it is almost I can. Listen, I don't even mean to take over the podcast right now, right? <laughs> but on everything, y'all can have dude in the kitchen. We just right. we shot a video called Forever Mobbing, right? That's what I was saying. It was that him on the grill. Yeah, oh, that was him on the grill. Listen yeah. to me. Okay, now. okay, okay. He came with ribeyes. The, uh, the camera didn't even catch the food. Lobster he had tail. ribeye, lobsters. Uh, 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 I think Shrimp. he did. Yeah, Shrimp. Shrimp. Like, hey, hey. Talk about 
real. Yeah, these dudes is getting hey, 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 let me cut you. Let me cut you off real quick. <laughs> I got a little bit, and, and, and see, J Rock know what I'm talking about because I got some experience in film. Now, when you when you on a set, you go. A lot of people they they first go to uh, to um, J Rock. What's the word? Crafty. Huh? Crafty. Crafty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Where's the crafting at? That, that's where all the food is at, right? Mm. And um, I've been on sets. I did. <laughs> I had the privilege. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and drop that name right there. I had the privilege to do something with Sony one time, right? Mm. And uh, they didn't even have flex. food like J Rock. They didn't okay. even. J Rock had lots of tails for for your boy, and not just for your boy, for everybody that came. For through. everybody. Okay. I, I was able to. I was able to do the real, you know, ghetto thing. And the man, hey, the man makes his own butter. He took a play home. He took a play home butter. He makes his own butter. Oh, man. His own butter. Oh, loves, Licking hey, his hey, fingers. Hey. Hey. She loves lobster tail. She loves lobster hey. The wife was forcing you. <laughs> the wife was forcing you to, and you didn't have to use aluminum foil. Like she had Tupperware for you. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't breathe. You ain't taking no paper plate. You know, right. even with aluminum foil. Like she got a Tupperware bowl for you. I'm like, hold on. Lobster and Tupperware, restaurant. like this, better than uh, Roof Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and it got the Tupperware label on it. That's the trip thing, right? It and label, wow. and label. Wow. Hey, but you know it's crazy because I see sometimes I see uh, skills uh, stories on IG, and I'm like, yo, these Hogwarts dudes eat good, man. They have a whole buffet, everything. I'm like, oh, these dudes is grilling. They doing their thing. Hey, let me tell you one thing I can't say is. And this is like, like real, real talk. Hogmom pour, hog mom sold into fertile soil. Mm. So, so where, where God has brought us to, like anybody in this group would tell you, we've, we've traveled the country hood to hood. Um, I'm, I'm talking about they, some of the homies doing a hundred hoods uh, right now uh, tours, right? But we done went on tours 30 deep, sleeping on floors, sleeping in vans, like we've 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 right. we toiled the field for the sake of the gospel on our own dime. So mm-hmm. like when I see when I see the brothers um that God is blessing brothers, like to see be on the phone with Ivy and and my bro is in his own home and he's remodeling his own home, like that brother's been faithful, very faithful, right? So like like this 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 music thing that people see us do like we could easily take bread and blow up overnight as a record label if if our intentions was to be a record label right because there's enough bread spread up across the table for that however when you see these dudes that take their money to see the next man saved to see, uh, 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 to pour into the next homie or homie going through this, homie going through that, and the bread just came out like I like for the home. Um, um, I end up, I end up putting this house. We got forty seven hundred square feet. Sits on almost two two acres, right? That's a lot. Let's of go. Homes. Let's go. It's a now lot. We talk, now for those that sound that like Georgia. Home. For those that don't know, oh, that's California, though. Right, no, what I'm saying that's not like that's not like Atlanta. So well, Dante, Dante, for those that those that don't know, you talking about Project West, right? Yeah, Project West. Okay. So we got right now we got this is just the Project West home. We got other homes. Seven's um, seven has a duplex he just purchased out in Kansas. We got properties. Uh, Chauncey is running ministry out in um, Colorado Springs. He's in Colorado. Um, six is in the process getting started in LA. Uh, six is actually working with the Tay program, which is transitional age youth. Um, now the the Hog Mob House in in um, in Kansas, uh, we're not even. That's not even county funded. That is Hog Mob funded, right? Like wow. like literally, you're there. The ministry is 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 taking care of everything, right? But what I was going with this house is I'm um, just the diligence of brothers through fellowship, nature of relationships, period. I put out there one day in the chat that um 
I ran into a brick wall. The people were ready to come and inspect the home and I needed to furnish it. When I tell you, I, I, J-Rock, J-Rock been here. We furnished the whole house in how long, J-Rock? A couple of weeks. Couple, yeah. I'm, this 4,700 square feet of house. Yeah. Wow. Like, like I, it's one, put it like this, the house so big, it got three living rooms. Like literally, it has a whole nother back house that has a living room and three bedrooms. Like when I say everything has been provided, um, I mean, they it, it showed love, but majority of the people that has poured in or people that know what hog mob do, we're serious about, right? So right. like, like yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a blessing. So when I see brothers within the mob, um, they live good, they're doing good. Um, majority of these brothers, I've, I've watched them leave father, brother, sister, land uh, uh, for the sake of the gospel. I've watched it with my own eyes. I've, I slept in in the back. I don't know if y'all remember the hog mob band, bro, but it was like, have y'all ever seen that video of Q Heem's uh, 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 Jesus or No? Go look at the video, right? And in the in the video, you got Faith and Q Heem in the beginning of the video, they in the, in the hog mob band. And the hog mob band is going, ur, 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 ur. <laughs> like, like, like that's the real band. That's not a sound effect, right? We've, been in, we've traveled the whole country in that band. Wow. Like literally yeah. for the sake of the gospel. Um, I mean, there's stories of the homies going into legitimately going fishing just to eat, like for the sake of the gospel. So right. I've witnessed the brothers leave a lot. So when I see brothers that are truly, truly being blessed today, um, I don't thank God. I don't thank God that they've that they've reached a financial level. But what I thank God for is that I've witnessed the growth. Mm. You know what I mean? I've right. witnessed them become better stewards of their finances. I've witnessed them sow seed into fertile soil and not throw it on concrete. And um, like what Meek did that, I think whether he gave 10, 20, 30, whatever, to give anything onto the youth is big. But when you do it as a man of God and you're doing it on behalf of the kingdom, I think it's next level, bro. Yeah, right. So, I agree. So, yeah, Hog Mob is a different, it's a different, um, it's a different entity, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it sounds so, like you guys have that community um spirit, you know what I mean? Sort of like what the what the apostles and the disciples had, where it's like we share everything that we have with each other, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, yeah, in, in in our videos, those the I mean, those ain't rental cars; those are vehicles, right? <laughs> like, like you, I've you guys heard that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, now I'm keeping it real. Like, like right. uh, Diamond just left California, right? We we could both go 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 get a hotel room and stay in right. some night. Hey, J Rock. Man, we need a couch. Like me, 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 Diamond, and the homie Joe. Joe, oh, I forgot about Joe's house. Joe run houses in yeah. in uh Sacram in, in uh, Sacramento, mm -hmm. right? But we feet to head uh, on J Rock's couch, right? Mm -hmm. Dudes that can go get a hotel room, but like the fellowship that what comes out of us being together, uh, just operating. Um, fellowship and the love of our wives with one another, man. It's like this is next level. Mm -hmm. This next level, um, being able to witness what God do. It's dope. Mm -hmm. I got a question regarding the the house, uh, the one that you're in right now. You were talking up uh, to us earlier before we started. Mm -hmm. um, was this house? Did you build it from the ground up, or did you buy it? And like, and what um, motivated you, or what gave you the vision to start Project West? Oh man, so so is J Rock could tell you so year when I first met Seven, when I first met Sev, uh I didn't like Sev, right? I didn't like his music, uh but not because it was bad, I didn't understand it, 
right? So I, I had a very, very novice mindset. So Sev hit me one day and he was like, um, hey, we doing pray for my hood, homie. I heard that you're doing real big things in your community. Uh, we want to bring this event to your hood. Um, can we work on it? And um, at this time, my hood and another crip hood, um, we just had a major indictment, right? So I was very, very cautious about going into a hood, going into my hood or any hood, bringing people together and they already got the RICO Act flowing around and it can create right. serious issues, right? So uh, long story short, I humbled myself on that phone call and he would, no, no, I take that back. I told Seb no. And he was like, well, look, um, the tour kicks off this date. Won't you, um, won't you come do some, uh, some stops with us so you can see what we do. Right. So I hang up the, uh, um, we get off the phone. Um, I pray on it. Time, few months go by and, um, he hit me again. Like, hey, uh, what's up, bro? Like, he kept tapping in on me, like, on my bumper about, not about this, though, just on my bumper, period. Like, hey, what's up, homie? Like, staying in communication, right? So, like, being a brother. So, um, anyway, I didn't know what his agenda was at first, right? So, I'm like, at this point in time, Seven was, he would drop a video on YouTube and then it hit millions in minutes, right? Um he 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 moving. So I'm like, I really didn't have time for big stage, bright lights, and all that crap. Long story short, I get on the road with bro. Um uh me, him, it was me, Sev, Faith, Illuminate, uh Marcel Jackson, and a few other homies. We on tour, we we go out. Um we hit up Bakersfield and I was like, okay, that's cool ministry. We go to Vegas and we in Vegas on, uh, uh, at the Mario's par parking lot on Dr. Martin Luther King on the corner. It's a microphone and one speaker. And I'm like, hold on, this is how we finna get down. Now this is what I do, right? right. But at this time who seven was in, in, C in, in the, Christian hip hop community, I didn't know this is what they did. Mm. So when he grabbed the mic, he grabbed the mic first. I was like, dang, this is crazy. Now, this day two, we not sleeping. It's drive, it's sleep. I mean, it's drive, it's take a nap, it's fellowship, like eat fellowship. It's a whole bunch of getting to know each other. Sunday, we that was fight night. That was a fight night. I think Floyd or Pacquiao, somebody was fighting that, that night in Vegas. So we left early so we can get to Fresno. When we get to Fresno, um, we 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 ministering and seven come to me. He was like, hey, uh, tonight is your altar call. So I'm like, cool, I got it. So we go in, we get to worshiping. And every game banger in the hood came out. When I say they came out, and this they wasn't Bloods and Crips. These are Bulldogs. So they, they from Fresno, they real game bangers. Uh, they come out, and um, I go to the restroom. I go to the restroom, and I trip over this dude leg that was in a cast, right? I trip over Brody leg, and bro rise up on me. So I'm like, man, dude, I can't even be. I got to find a way to fix this, right? right, yeah. right. So, so I'm like, hey, bro, my apologies, man. I'm just going to the restroom. He don't know me, but he frowned up and he hot. Go to the restroom. I come outside. There's about four or five of them. They grill me. I still walk on. Long story short, we get to the point of where we praying. And uh, we praying and we going in. And Seb began to get on the piano and play worship music. Uh, and singing, and I give an altar call. When I look out the corner of my eye, illuminating faith is praying and laying hands on the dude I had stepped on his leg earlier that day. Wow. I end up getting probably about 18, 20 
bulldogs praying for them uh and we just going in when i look up the next moment the dude cast is coming off his legs they took his cast off his leg. They took the cast and do walked it and threw it in the trash can. I watched wow. the movie. I'm watching it out the corner of my eye. So, so in that moment, it I seen the power that was taking place. So I come home, I'm on steroids. Oh, I'm on, I'm amp. amp. Everybody in the hood getting saved. So <laughs> I was on my way to set it up in my hood and uh God was like, no. Wow. So I go around the city and he sends me to the blood hood. Then I get to the blood hood and um, for for, uh, two weeks, I walked around that that park and I would just pray, just pray over the park. I wouldn't talk to nobody like I was by myself. It ended up three more people. It ended up seven people. Next thing you know, it's about 30, 40 people walking around this park praying with me as I continue to share to pray for my hood vision. After that, I felt in my spirit that we needed to knock on doors Hmm. and, and literally pass out flyers. So now I'm walking this hood and I'm knocking on every single door in the blood hood like enemies right. we not, i've knocked on doors and they like what's cracking blood what you doing in my door like literally right. oh, in the name of jesus uh <laughs> 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 so long story short man just just to sum it up real quick man um we end up having that event uh tariq black from the lakers came out um multiple superstars everything we had 18 wheelers full of food we had a hundred bike put a hundred ki- kids on bikes um wow. it was it, it ended up being huge Sev told me he say um homie god wants you to start your own ministry and um i left there i left there that day and i didn't get moving on it but i always prayed about it we went on tour again and we was in texas we um i think at this point we were uh, doing some work with who we went in Texas, probably Brian T or or this back when Pyrex was out, probably rocking with him. But we hit a few different uh, spots out there um, in the heart of their hoods. And he, when he hit me again, he was like, "Hey, did you start your ministry yet?" I left, started the uh, started the West. The West is an acronym for win, equip, and send to the trenches, and. Um, that day I was in my apartment. I had a two bedroom apartment. I had my brother, I had D Burns, I had Marcel, uh, who else? Somebody else was staying with us at the time and me and my son would sleep on the couch and I gave the rooms to them. And uh, my son at that time, he was probably around nine, 10, something like that. Uh, long story short, in that house is when God gave me the vision that I was to open up a home because I was already housing the homies um, right. and and taking care of the homies. And I didn't take no rent money from nobody. So wow. um, it started off. I thought we were going to go and transition with youth. And then God put on my heart to uh, work with sobriety. Dudes that already want change, people that's already being drawn they just don't know where to draw their attention to so uh to sum it up yeah that's where the whole project west thing came from um me and j-rock partnered i remember the first day we we sat and discussed this we had a whole team of dudes and i shared the vision in and um at this time we was getting just buying equipment to be able to further pray for my hood and be a, when the homies go out and do tours, like we got full blown concerts, uh, setups, like we'll blow a park. We'll blow the walls, the roof off a park. We got so much sound equipment, bro. Uh, <laughs> so, and it's, and it's available for the homies in the ministry. So if you need it, we throw it in a trailer, you come get the trailer, you go do what you got to do in your community. Right. Um, but we were just trying to get the bread together for that. And we shared the vision of the 
of, of the house. And I kind of told everybody that, look, um, I'm getting ready to stop touring. I'm going to stop being pretty much the face of the West. And I'm going to focus on the behind the scenes, me and J-Rock. And uh, sure enough, we've been, what was that, about two years ago, J-Rock? About two years okay. ago, we, we laid the vision out. Uh, six months later, we began, uh, we began to work on the home. Uh, I came, it was horrible. I came in one day kicking down doors, knocking down walls. And then before I knew it, I was like, oh, I done messed up this whole house and got a refix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so it was like a fixer upper type of situation. Yeah, it was, a, it was worse. already, it was already built. If you see, if you, mm-hmm. one day I, I try to do a tour of the inside, the exterior, I still got work to do outside, but right now, uh, the whole inside is 100% remodeled. It's a smart home. Um, you can speak to the lights, the lights go off. You wow. go to the refrigerator, uh, all Samsung appliances throughout the house, like God really showed up and blessed. So um, what God what God put on, on my heart and put on J-Rock heart is to create a home that, that if they come to, they won't want, they don't want to leave. Mm-hmm. Right. So we want them to feel like they at home, um, take their sobriety uh, serious. Uh, we got lifers that are becoming uh, that are getting released from the penitentiary that are be coming into the home. Oh. Um, and we want them to see like this is what you could be. This is what you can have. Like we two do from the hood. Like this ain't no we ain't got college degrees. Right. Like I, I, I didn't even graduate high school. Like this is the, this is what God will do. Right. right. Um, through obedience, uh, being good stewards and making, uh, being willing to sow seed where seed is due, like being willing to turn away and give up everything you have for the sake of the gospel and trusting God to return it a hundredfold, but not even looking for the hundredfold. You just doing it for the sake of the gospel. So right. what we, what God has put on our heart is to create uh, uh, an experience, an experience uh, where men will transition, well, not transition, but uh, we call it a transformation home. Um, the story of Nicodemus talk, talks about um, the born again experience and being transformed by the renewing of your mind. So um, we implement all the studies and all the teachings that we all receive within Hog Mob and implement it into, some, into them. And prayerfully and hopefully um, every man that leads this program leave, leave her as a member of Hog Mob, like take the church, further the church, get ready to wow. pour it into somebody else. Like that's, that would be my end goal. And it's not limited to game bangers. I don't care if you came from the Hells Angels. Like mm-hmm. we, got, we got real Aryan Brotherhood dudes that are part of the ministry like wow. real ones. So like a lot of people see us and they just see the game bangers, the ex game bangers that are up front, but we got businessmen that sit in offices all day. We got real life, real life, uh, rednecks and pack of woods. Like that's what they say they are. Like, <laughs> right, right. You got ex crips, you got bloods, um, you got serranios, we got, uh, Northanios. Like we got dudes from all walks of life that come from, poverty and some that come from the suburbs you know what i mean so, yeah Yo, that's awesome man that's wild and, and that's good because you know we we um a lot of people just see the music right they see hog mob music yeah y'all, y'all recently dropped the cypher um mm. which i know you were on it um uh who else was on diamond it was uh, on diamond it. was on it diamond was, was j-rock on it cool, no, nah, J. Rock. Hey, hey, y'all gotta watch J. Rock. J. Rock stitch you with the lyrics, dog. Like, oh, like, I heard him on the on the joint where he was cooking on the grill. Yeah, yeah. It, it, hey, it, it's food in the video. J. Rock want to be in the video. He don't want in. But yeah, it, um, Ivy, Ivy, Ivy smashed it. Ivy came uh, through with, on the Nate dog. Uh, um, yeah, singing right. Hey, yeah. hey! If the whole country talking about who made dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see. But but it's crazy how that cipher, how the cipher went right. Diamond Diamond came off first. Yeah, right. And that was like the that was the first impression of of, of Diamond for me. Yeah. And I was like, who is this dude? 
You yeah. know what I mean? Like he came in shooting, guns blazing. Yeah. Diamonds the hey, that Bible be what's yeah, up? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yo, I saw that. I was like, whoa, I had to hit rewind. Like, whoa, wait. <laughs> hey, it was crazy, right? Because um we knew of each other, but um that weekend was the first time me and Diamond met. Okay. And and this brother, we came to North Carolina, man, and bro showed us so much love, like, like you would have thought we had been cool forever, mm -hmm. right? Um, and Diamond's testimony, just how he how he came to the mob, um, his testimony really ain't no different than mine. Like him and Seven Deuce, and me and Seven. You know what I mean? Like, like, and um, same with Ivy. Ivy came in on a Hog Mob tour, right? Didn't you, Ivy? Like, yeah. like, you did. Yeah, so so that cipher when Diamond went, I wrote my verse to go first, but mm -hmm. they re they started recording way. Be I think I went to sleep. I think we flew in. I was already like, I think I was already recording probably two or three songs already, and I was like, yeah, me and J Rod just world. got off the plane. These dudes didn't go to sleep. What time y'all go to sleep, uh, Diamond? Four, five, eight o'clock, nine o'clock that next morning, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah they that was a seven o'clock uh that first right. night. Oh, the first night, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. 730, something like that. Yep. So then it's me got and like three I hours. Got my alarm set. When it's time to go, I'm not fooling around in the studio with y'all. I'm 43, right? I got to go to sleep. <laughs> so I bangs out my uh, son. You was hanging, you was hanging on me. <laughs> hey, I tried, bro. I tried, but I went to that, I went to that hotel room. I knocked out me and J-Rock. I, I, it's hard to sleep with Jay in the room with J-Rock because he snores and makes all this noise. Like, <laughs> hey, yo, put him out there. Like hey. uh, yeah, but anyway, me and J-Rock, we, <laughs> we hit Starbucks. We got our coffee. We get to the studio. All these dudes, they still resting. Right. Yeah, I seen that. I seen some of the video y'all had. It was like bad people in there. Like, good oh, dude. And 15 What people. was it about? How deep was we? Almost was 30. Huh? Wow. Like 25, 26. Yeah. Not now everybody rappers, though. Mob and now, remind real. you, Hog Mob all over the country. It's 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 thousands of us. Yeah. Right? Like, like we, God has blessed us over the years. Like, this is a mega church, a mega fellowship. Like, right. we have, it's a mega body, and it moves like that, right? So, we out there, we out there, Diamond comes in, he say, bro, Brother, he's he's so cool with his <laughs> voice. Now the next day, I still got to record, and I got what two, three videos to shoot. Like, so yeah. I go in, I go in. He he sits in there. He say, "No, brother, rap your verse like this, bro." Hey, Diamond, my <laughs> he was my coach the whole time, for real, for real, right? Executive so, producer, right there. Huh? Man, listen, <laughs> he he. He's new to hog mob. He ain't new to music. Right. Like, like, um, like he don't know. He he loved my writing skills, but he taught me so much in that in that studio session. And Diamond, you know I'm a you bear witness. I they be like, no, nah, you got to put that Dante sauce on it. I say, bro, I don't know how to do an ad lib. Am I lying, Diamond? <laughs> nah, hey, nah. He say, say it like this. I say, oh, <laughs> so what y'all what y'all um I know uh some people who have criticized you guys right in your music with the n-word. Do y'all um, hear that a lot? In man, the comments, they get it, right? Let me tell I'm you shocked, something, bro. If I'm if, shocked, if, I've, I've said, never heard said I'm shocked. Let me tell you, never heard, I've never heard anybody heard. talk about yeah. that word. If I say <laughs> the N word, or how many times this has been an issue, oh, which yeah, means love, too. by the way, right? Uh, In sign language. If I was to, do you know how many of these interviews? Like when when Aunt hit me, I think I told Aunt like, bro, I don't really like to discuss this because I don't when we. <laughs> we get so much criticism for that that everybody forget who we are as ministers. Right, right. They, right. they, they, they talk. They don't talk about the impact. They don't talk about the Holy Spirit using us. Um, they nobody talks about that we 
really come from that lifestyle. Like, right. like being a, I want to be a square, right? But I'm tainted. You said that a couple times. Yeah, he said that all the time. He said that a lot. Right. I want to be a square, but I'm I'm tainted by who I was. But you know what, man? I think that's I think that's just you know certain people, man, because you know, being from whatever hood you from, right? Um, like I ain't I ain't know much about y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't know much about CHH in general. But then recently, like, you know. I recently got put on to y'all with Millennium. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, um, and then just speaking to you, you know, just casually, because for me, like when I get into these 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 areas, if we into some chats or whatever, I try to chop it up with you as a person. I don't, right. Right. you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to fill you out before I even get into the music or whatever. Right. So, and that's how I've always been, they, you know what I'm saying? These dudes, Jimmy Switch, put me in these chats. And I don't never ask what you do, who right. you are, nothing. I'm just talking to you. You right. know what I'm saying? So at that right. point, you know, I'm, you know, I'm at a point where you cool. We cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know you as a man and, uh, you know, so far from the chat and how you move. Right. Now you put your music and I, now I'm interested in that. I don't care. I don't care how many N-bombs you drop, what you say, <laughs> how many times you do, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Because we all like everybody pretty much uses it. Everybody that comes right, from, like, you know what I'm saying? So that ain't you know, you know, from before being saved, right. you know, without you know, we already know how how you move. Right. But that ain't no, yeah, I ain't deterred by that. Now, now at this point, I'm like, yo, I now I want to see how they incorporate this because this is dope. Right. Right. <laughs> so, and this man. is and this is and, good, and it's not fake. It's yeah. not, oh, sorry. And this is why yeah. we, we want y'all to have that platform to talk about, like, yo, we doing this, this, and that, and y'all worry about this. A word. <laughs> a word. Right. But it does come up. It's not like, I know that, you know, they've heard it before. I, Zadok said it in his verse, like, y'all well, worried Zadok, about... Zadok actually explained it rather well in there, right? In his yeah. song, right? So this is for me, right? I've been mobbing for a long time. But but this is the thing, right? So you have this CHH, this community that we call CHH, right? It's obvious that Hog Mob's music is too hood for the church or two church for the hood. It is right. what it is, right? Right. Mm. So, so I love what Ant said, how he says, um, um, he knows he's built a relationship with me and we talk like we people. That's what we do with our music. Right. Talking to people, right? Um, I, I can't hide away from tossing up hog mob, right? This, where I'm from, this is a blood gang, a blood gang sign. Mm-hmm. I'm a well-known, I am a well-known ex-crip in my city. I'm well-known for it. You mentioned my name throughout my city. It, 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 my name rings in my city. Anybody in this chat will tell you still to this day, right? Or, bro, that's that Christian. Today, I'm that Christian dude um, um, from the hood, mm-hmm. right? But this was de- demonic. Right. Do you know how many people are hurt behind tossing yeah. up this and tossing right. up this? Right. I've hurt people for this. I've taken from people f- over this. I've ran in homes. I've laid people down. I, I, I beat, beat dudes for no reason. I've taken from you and Rob Peter to pay Paul over this. This was demonic. Mm. This is a devil symbol. Mm. You, 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 you say this is it? No, this wasn't it. This was it. This was it. Right. Oh, that was it. Now, now the Bible, the Bible gives clear instruction on being be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Would it? Would what to do this? 
means nothing. You don't own me. You don't own this. Right. You don't. You don't. I, I denounced game banging. However, I love my hood. I'm, I would be a lie to you to tell you I don't want every crip in my neighborhood saved. Mm. I'd be a lie to you to tell you I don't want every single family member of mine saved. I'd be selfish to say that. So I don't care how big God allows me to get. This thorn that's in my side, I'm always going to be known as a crip. Paul would always be known as, as the dude that slayed Christians. Right. I, I tried to study to find out what his thorn is. The only thing that sticks is the fact that he used to slaughter Christians to me. Right. I just told you, bro, I've walked in blood hoods and knocked on doors for the sake of the gospel, not knowing what's on the other side of that door. This was demonic. Don't talk to me about this. I don't have I don't have nothing to give you. Right. I don't. I, it, the N word. I, I, to be honest, it's hard to erase it from my vocabulary. Yeah, when I'm yeah, with, you know, with Diamond, and, and, and Seven is a blood. He was a blood from Oak Park. Mm-hmm. Me and Seven, me and Se- Seven supposed to be doing this on site. <laughs> when you see me, you see Seven. When you see Seven, you see Dante. J Rock is a crip from Ocean, an uh, uh, ex crip from Oceanside. Me and my, me and his hood used to bang. Mm. My homie King David. This is a trip. I don't know if y'all know uh, the homie King David. Um, we got two of them in our ministry. One of them um, is the original uh, Green Eyes from Lincoln Park, Piru, out here in San Diego. He was in his house. Two rip, two crips from my hood went in his house to rob him. They put him on his knees and shot him up, shot him in his head. Wow. Bro is doing ministry today. I sleep on a couch comfortable with this man beside me. This man has every reason over game banging to put a bullet in my head for what my big homies did to him. Wow. He has every reason to. But the power of God mm. that can that can teach this man, that can transform this man to forgive me and my homies for what they did to him. That's the power of God. Right. So when this nigga tell me he loves me, <laughs> I say, nigga, I love you more. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. On bloods, I love you. Right. Cause like I mean it. <laughs> yeah. I mean it with everything in me. But don't nobody talk about the true transforming power of God that really hey, took right. place. They hey, took right. on the N-word. So for me, I don't have time to give you that energy, right? Oh, yeah. Because guess what? What the reality is the N-word means nothing that it used to mean. You know what Dante? What Dante? With Dante saying, I, man, I'm forced to PayPal him later. He preaching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending all offerings now. <laughs> yeah. a, a, a lot of people, the trip thing is so many people say, um, why do they use the N-word? You just use the word. The moment you brought the conversation up and said N-word, you're saying N-word, nigga, nigger. Colored, uh, black, Negro, <laughs> Negro. It's all, it's all the same. Yeah, right. you know, right. you know. Look, and, and and let me say this real quick. Let me say this because this is what we fail to realize. Like even, okay, what Dante was talking about, right? Even when it came to uh, cousins, blood. To this day, I see the joy of the Holy Spirit in Dante when mm-hmm. he say, "Oh man." What's up, man? You ain't holler at an ex-crip in a minute, or you ain't holler, hey, what's up, cuz? Like, <laughs> stuff that was detrimental in the Come street, on. he could still, like, bring it to where it's like God gets glory from because you know that I look at these things as 
as they're nothing. They're part of our culture, but they're nothing to uh, uh, to grasp to where we now are enemies or that we kill over. Right. I had a big homie who was my best friend in South Central Los Angeles who got gunned down. And East Coast Crip, right? I'm, I'm affiliated. I was part of a clique called Polo Ones. Players only live once with a W. We used to say one love, one God, one nation. You know, but my background, me being like super wanting to be, uh, like find my identity and stuff. My cousin rapping with the LBC group, Big C style, uh, brought me along from Long Beach when I was 13 years old, you know what I'm saying? Hearing me out until I was able to be grown enough to move around with them, but from Escondido, you know what I'm saying? Where I spent most of my young life. And that's North County of uh, San Diego. But my whole identity was, identity was wrapped around in gangbang because of who I saw and everybody leaving from different cities trying to actually make a better life for themselves, but still putting funk in an untapped ter territory where you just had Hispanic gang members, you know what I'm saying, where I came at. And what a lot of people don't know is you had a lot of dope dope houses there, apartment complexes and spots where it was cracking, so you had your typical murder, you had a little prostitution, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is, is that for, from, from somebody young and impressionable, I'm looking at the cats I'm around and getting back into the city as these is my these is these is my heroes my my role models though I had a father and as many people like me my parents split up so I'm trying to follow somebody you know what I'm saying I'm trying to get with you know you know with something and so this hip hop thing took took a toll on my life when especially in LA when I moved there when I was five you know what I'm saying uh I mean I'm really getting sucked into this culture and I'm hearing nigga, 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 you know what I'm saying? Low riders hitting, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm five years old coming from New Orleans, but I'm being brought and birthed in the hip hop at that age. And I'm just like, wow, and then you get, you know, I mean, and then years run by and then my parents is now estranged from each other. And I'm trying to find my identity and hip hop is still banging in my ear. And I'm still seeing most, if not all, the homies ain't got, they don't got a father. None mm -hmm. of them got that. You know what I'm saying? There's dope houses here still, too. Crystal, well, crystal meth houses and whatnot. And and this is this is all the music we listen to. This is our reality. I ain't graduated from high school either. I'm learning to hit licks and I'm learning how to hustle. I'm learning how to do home invasions and till I get old enough to put my little homies into the situation that I was in. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and then my big homies giving me validation and trying to have me be enforcer or be an enforcer. Pumping my head up, like, what do I know about being an enforcer at 17 years old? So this culture and being embraced back in the city of, of South Central Los Angeles on the west side and, and accepted on the east side, this culture, this nigga, 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 you know, cut, 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 hey, look, you know, like, what you what you really get, get, get adapted to is that this is just, this is just life, period. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. And, mm. and, 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 and so when I hear that, I don't hear a negative and I don't hear a negative right. uh, view coming right. coming to me as, oh, you a nigga as in the elect, um, the uh, Atlantic slave trade. You a nigga as in you the white man shoeshine boy. You know what I'm saying? Like right. none of that crosses my mind when I say. That's my nigga over there, even though I, I don't put this in my music. I don't pin it in my music. I used to so much. There's so much I still don't put in my music. But when I do hear it and when I do listen to it, I'm just saying when it comes to when it runs across my mind, all I hear is, okay, what's the context? What is right. he getting at? What's the next right. bar? What, right. like, like what's being said here? Is this is this like I'll just say this because my my thoughts is running. Um, I say this, man. When I see when I see people attack the the lingo, like nigga or hog mob symbol, mm -hmm. I immediately want to ask them not only where you from, but 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 what is your outlook on what you perceive to be as the culture that you're listening to. Like, like, okay, well, for lack of better words, 
when you're listening to music from from somebody who understands why they're saying what they're saying how do you relate to it how do you interpret that where are you from or what 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 type of outlook can you even have that can validate the person that you're being ministered to or 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 the person that you're being being uh entertained by whatever the case may be right nine times out of ten we're dealing with people that are ignorant people that don't know why they're saying what they're saying or why we're saying what we're saying also you're dealing with people that have bought into what everybody else's narrative is which is well this came from the white man the atlantic slave trade and whatnot it was used from a term you know as a term of uh, 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 degradation or, 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 or a term of um, being insulting and, and 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 really degrading of people and whatnot, and then you have to understand, like, okay, what what gives you that authority and why and who says? Because if we do say nigga, nigger, nigga, or a nigger and whatnot, because of different slangs from different parts of the U.S., then we're really saying, okay, how are they saying nigger, nigga, and all that? Like in 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 why is it that that is necessarily bad because they called my people that they called Christ Beelzebub? Christ said, yeah, right. They, they called the master Beelzebub. What do you think they're gonna call you? The Christian was a derogatory term in Acts. They called yeah. the believers Christians yeah. and, because and, you were and today we one who today. was making trouble. These are troublemakers. These are right. Christians who are troublemakers. Right. I always tell people when they say, Ivy, are you staying out of trouble? I say, hell no. I'm never staying out of trouble. I'm always <laughs> <in trouble." laughs> you know what I'm saying? So since I'm a Christian, I'm going to be in your business. I'm going to be in my business. And you know, that's just how it is. And so by the grace of God, man, like, like, like we have the, we have the right as believers and the, we have the crown rights. Mind you, we have the crown rights as believers to name things and to say what things are. To mm-hmm. the culture, even mm-hmm. though we deal with this and we speak with our linguistics and our verbiage to the culture and amongst the culture, now really as believers, Adam named animals, we as believers really get to say what is and what is not because we have crown rights as live men. Those that are dead in sin can't say nothing about nothing unless it's it's definitely, I would say, prohibited by the word of God, where it's definitely something that is contrary to the word of God. Right. And it's perverse. If 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 it's done in a fashion like that, then I can understand. But if right. it's not, then give us the benefit of the doubt that we know what we're talking about when we are speaking in in in, in our gestures, when we are throwing up whatever we're throwing up. Give us the benefit of you know the benefit of of, of the doubt as crown right believers. Hey, I, that let me by the grace of God, quick, we have all authority and power in Christ Jesus in heaven and seated with Amen. Him in the heavenly places, like Ephesians two. And the Great Commission, all authority be given to Christ. Therefore, there we have that authority from the King Himself. Yeah. Let me tap in real quick because um, actually, me and me and Diamond had this conversation earlier, and I think uh, he shared some. I'm yeah. trying to think of what he said so I can say them before he said them, but I can't think of them. But one <laughs> thing I want to I want to tap in with before that, right? Um, what I'm seeing in CHH is a shift, right? Um, we've seen this now. One hog mob don't consider ourselves CHH. We are by nature, by nature, because we're Christians. We real Christians, devout Christian, devout men of God. Yeah. That does hip hop, but what CHH is seeing right now is NWA coming into hip hop, right? When the East Coast, East Coast married, they they birthed hip hop. Uh, New York created the foundation of this, right? But when NWA came, it, there came a shift, right? And in that shift, it created another subculture inside of a culture mm-hmm. that was different, right? So when 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 the East Coast heard all this, um um gangster rap that we accredit to LA starting it you're seeing that in CHH Mm. and what you're seeing is is these dudes that really come from this lifestyle that is almost saying 
how they said F the police, they're over here pretty much saying F Satan. Right. right. Yeah. It's almost identical to that. Right. So, so these dudes are really, they were really active in their streets. Easy really lived that life. DOC was really with that life. MC Ren was really with that life. Right. Um, Dre, Cube, they were not, they may not have been about that life, but they grew out, uh, grew up amongst it. Right. So what you're seeing in CHH is these street dudes that can actually rap. And East Coast dudes is like, hey, them, them, them West Coast dudes is is really, really, they got bars. They're not chumps. Yeah. Right. They don't, but this is the thing, right? Your NWA concert was not your same EPMD concert. It wasn't. Right. It were two totally different concerts, right? Was NWA supposed to do the same numbers at a concert that, that LL and all them greats during that time was doing? No, they weren't supposed to, but they were introducing something that is different than the norm. So the way we push the gospel is different from the norm. So guess what? Um, we try to co-mingle GOM on stage and Hog Mob on stage, right? Um, when we on stage, the crowd just sits there and watch. <laughs> they listen. They like, oh, you a real one. They a real one. It's like all moments. When GOM is on stage, Jerry got that work. Bizzle got that work. So you're like this. On the West Coast, we don't even do that, period. Yeah. We just two-step. We, we simple dudes. Like, but they're listening. Mark. They're listening. When you when you ask around the CHH community, they're gonna say, hey, hog mob them be in them streets. Right. Kingdom music be in them streets. Right. right. I don't know. I don't know of too many Christian hip hop dudes that 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 rap within their commute their 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 ministry or their record labels that record labels do they're making music to do music. We work we do music for the hood. Like we press up three hundred thousand CDs and pass them out in the hood for free, mm -hmm. right? I say that to say this. I get phone calls from Salvation Army, uh, uh, Angel Tree, Prison Fellowship. These are the mega churches of, of prison ministries, right. drug addicts, like, like uh, 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 sobriety. These are the, the, the big players in the game, right? Where you get 116 that is able to go inside of the church. You get GOM that is able to go inside of the church. They call us specifically to get our hands dirty, mm -hmm. right? So for, 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 for you, you like, well, uh, hog mob is not received in CHH. Hog mob is, uh, 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 they can never go on the same stage as, 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 uh, Lecrae. That's okay. Because the same people that are calling you for their youth service or their, their, whatever promise keeper event, whatever it is, they call us but they call mm -hmm. us to go into the jail. They call jail. us to go into the hospitals. They call us to go into the prisons. Is this starting to sound like scripture? Right. Right. Uh, right. So, so I'm, I'm okay with the use and in, in where they send me. Cause at the end of the day, Lord, you tell me where to go and, and right. I'll go. Right. I am an evangelist. I'm not called to, 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 to be inside of the church. Um, 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 to, to be the teacher. The Bible says souls are worn by the foolishness thereof of, of preaching, right? I'm called to go out and evangelize. When I go out and to evangelize, sometimes the only light switch in the arena is me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Legit, Amen. right? And, and, mm -hmm. and, and in that arena, I just talk to them how I talk. 
Right. But when I go into an interview, in an interview, I'm forced to be somebody I'm not. Right. When I go to church, if I got to put on a shirt, a suit and tie, I'm being somebody <laughs> I'm not. Right. I would do this because this is what they do in Rome. Hey, mm-hmm. Amen. Hey, Tay, mm-hmm. Tay. Tay, let me say this real quick, too, because uh, you just touched on something very important, because a lot of times the CH cheats. Well, CH. <laughs> CH. <C-H-H. laughs> I don't know what to call it anymore because I, yeah, I really don't like to, uh, you know, identify with a lot of it. However, I thank God for the brothers that are faithful, and you know, their heart is that of a champion when it comes to serving Christ. So praise God for all the brothers like that. Amen. When I'm, when I'm, when I'm getting at is this. I'm getting at it. Uh, just what Tay was talking about. With it, even within interviews, right? We're trying to be, you know, just forcing stuff that really ain't you. Right. And how many times we do we have churches that praise catch that pretty much been born and raised in the church all their life? Throw on a gold chain and some baggy jeans to be relevant to the youth. They right. forcing to be something that they ain't just mm-hmm. because they black. Now. It's not okay in some people's eyes for hog mob to say the word nigga, but it's okay for them to say, we ain't going to say, we're never going to say the word, but we're going to look like what they already say. Mm. See, that's when we get into all type of hip hop. Like look the part. Exactly. We want to look the part, but we don't want to identify as that. So right. who's actually going to be, be a hundred percent with like, if, if the culture says, like, if you really in the culture, where you can be amongst your peers and look like how you how you are around your people, then that comes with actually the verbiage too, right? Right. right. But we want it backwards. We want to say no. We don't. We we, we want to really look it, but we don't want to sound it. Right. No, we got to be consistent. And any right. any apologist knows when it comes from A to Z, you got to be consistent from A to Z, from from across the board, from one to ten. You have to be consistent. You can't have one without the other. I'm sorry. I mean, many may, may disagree, but the fact of the matter is, is if you are trying so hard to get away from a certain look or, or from a certain culture, then abandon all together. Abandon. Right. Abandon right. it all together. Right. You know what I'm saying? But don't get mad at brothers that are saying, you know what? There are certain things that I don't take as my liberty anymore, but how I may look, because I have that leisure, because I'm actually from there. Do you know, right. because I actually, that was my life of, of, of crime and whatnot. I have the leisure to take off what I want to take off. Mm-hmm. And who are you not, and, 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 and who are you to tell me otherwise? Right. Is is the is it a sin to say it? Right, that's right. Yeah. So, it, so, 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 I'm going to be quiet because I run my mouth too much. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I can see the thoughts in your, I know, you, I yeah. know what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah let right. me, uh, it's a couple points with this. Um, starting at where Ivy was talking about, it just being a, a culture where, they, where, where we happen to come from. But that breaks down to things are not inherently good or evil, man makes them that. For instance, a gun, right? I could use a right. gun to protect myself and save everybody in this room, or I could use it to rob everybody in this room. I'm giving it that power, all right? We right. make the decision whether we use things for good or evil, right? As well as words. A word in this country could be a curse word in another country, right? right. True story. That's yep. right. Um, well, so you read ass in the Bible and it means right. in the KJV. <laughs> right, right. So we are choosing, right? Man chooses whether he makes something one way or another. Um, the same things that are meant for good could be evil. I could go so far as the rainbow, right? Mm-hmm. That was given to us by God. Look how it's trying to be twisted. All right. Stuff. Well, what I see is especially... Okay, so first of all, like he said, it's not a sin issue. It's not a sin issue. What is starting to be here is a way a person takes it or what they have made it in their mind, right? Uh, yeah. Which is an opinion. And the problem is, is that we can't make opinions. Man is not allowed to make his opinion scripture. Mm. Your opinion is not moral. 
You can't turn your opinions into morals and press them on the next man. Right. right? And that's what I see happening here, as well as giving power in the wrong place. <laughs> right. What frustrates me is when somebody tries to call this satanic. Mm -hmm. That's foul, bro. You are giving power to Satan that he don't got. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? Amen. Amen. Are, are you satanic? Because you are trying to take something I'm doing to give glory. First of all, all things were created to give glory to the Lord. Right. Oh, right. Amen. So our hands were created for the glory of God. So there you go. Yeah. Right. So That's we true. are allowed in liberty in Christ to, to be able to use them to praise God. If I'm using it to praise God and somebody else try to tell me it's satanic, they are trying to give it satanic power which it don't have so whose side does you want right right <laughs> right, that, right. that frustrates me number one all right, all right. and that's dangerous two. too because very dangerous you, know, you 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 calling a believer satanic in a way you know that's what i'm right. saying that's and, not my anointed and do my prophets no harm that's yeah. right now, that's what I'm, I mean, you know what our lord said all blasphemy against me is forgiven against my father is forgiven that's right but against my spirit no nah. Now, I'm not mm -hmm. saying that when people go against the hog mob sign or anything. like I'm not saying that. So, you know, disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, okay. that, that is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. However, uh, we have to be very careful right. when we when we deem something as evil and God may be using it for his right. glory. Right. Mm -hmm. um, because we are so used to like, see, the fact of the matter is, is that we don't do enough thinking when it comes to the origin of things, when it comes to biblical Christianity. When it comes to biblical Christianity, even with our eth ethnicity. And so when we fail to uh, do study, we shoot ourselves in the foot. Man. And, we, and, 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 and then we, we actually take upon a culture, especially, let's say, us black people. We take a, 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 a culture that wasn't even ours by our way of thinking with a more of a Western European Hellenistic type of approach mm -hmm. instead of a more of a Coptic robust approach when it comes to our uh, uh, um, ethnicity. So um, all those have to be, but, 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 but I would say this as believers, as Christians, like you got diamond, view, a lot of, I mean, a lot of brothers, a ride, you got super saying, right? We come from all, different ethnicities, but we come from the same culture, from the same type of crime, mm -hmm. from the same type of poverty, from the same type of, you get it. So here's the thing though, we understand Christian lingo and we understand what Christians, how Christians came together because Peter was different from Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector. Uh, uh, Peter was, you know, a, a fisherman. But one thing that they knew was that they were all on this, on this level of being the have-nots, being actually the 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 I would say frowned upon in society, mm -hmm. right? And God used them to get glory. Hence is the reason why I believe that John the Baptist said, uh, after he already baptized Jesus and knew what he knew about our Lord, he said, still ask him if he's the right. <laughs> you know what? Because the the fame was being spread it abroad and it wasn't just about christ's fame being spread abroad but he was with tax collectors fishermen the low lives right the ones that really didn't mm -hmm. like like he was with he was with <laughs> with people he was he in the streets yeah. Him to be with yeah because prophecy taught that he was going to overthrow the system and he was going you know the government should be up on the shoulders he was he's the ruler of the world he's the you know the mashiach however what i'm saying is 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 that people People have it misconstrued in so many ways when mm -hmm. they don't think critically when it comes to the origin of why they believe what they believe. And so they'll take what, what somebody else taught them in their culture and then they'll indict a people that they don't know nothing about and deem them as evil based on what they've been taught and not giving them the actual initiative or the mm -hmm. respect for them to um, for them to actually convey what they really believe and what they say they believe as believers. Right. You know, what you just right, said, what you just said, I like 
I was, I was brainwashed to believe that nigger was a bad word. Mm -hmm. I was brainwashed into it, right? I remember being in elementary school and I know Ivy and, and, and J-Rock could, can, can testify because we were around the same age. But I remember being in, in elementary school and, and, and Black History Month would come around. Mm. And when Black History Month come around, they would play, uh, they, they would play uh, uh, the movie Roots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then when they would get to uh, 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 Kunta and, and, and Toby, they would always laugh. And I would always get into a fight because they laughed. Wow. Or afterwards, because I was nappy headed and dark skinned and I was a I, I really had the uh uh I really was one, I would get called nigger. And as soon as it happened, I yeah, <laughs> and then I'm dog walking you all over the school. <laughs> And then when I would go home, my mom would ask me why I got suspended. And I said, because he called me a nigga, then my mama would whoop on me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm, I'm not understanding this. Do, do I defend it? Right. Or do I be a square? And at the end, after my mom would, would, would stump me out, the defending the word was never the issue. The issue was, is that I got suspended from school and I fought. That was the issue. Right. That I let someone else control my anger based mm. off of what they thought, what they said. Someone was able to push my button and control me. So then she said, it was the same when we was young. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but what? Yeah. Words, words, words never hurt me. Right. <laughs> so either I give in to the word or I don't let the word offend me. Yeah. Which one is it? Am I to be offended and show right. emotions or am I to walk in peace that surpasses all understanding and not be shaken by the word that is not a, 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 the word of God? Right. All I know is two things in life at this point in my life. I know the truth, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ and the power of testimony that is used to save souls in, in which God had did what, what God has done for me. Right. I can never escape my past. I can never escape who I am on my exterior, only thing that I can do is, is, is allow God to change my interior. Right, right. And my exterior today is used to reconcile man back onto God. That's right. all I know. Amen. I don't know nothing else, yeah. right? So when I'm in the hood and I'm speaking to a dude in the hood, this is really who I am. Right. I work, I work, I work. In, in, in the Department of Defense, this is the job I'm retiring from to do full time ministry. Right. I sit with admirals, captains that push buttons and destroy cities. Mm, wow. This is they just destroy countries. This is what they do when things go wrong in the ship repair industry. Over here where I work, they say, um. Hey, um, what's the little black dude name that uh, 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 was in our last meeting? He don't know my name. This is how he's given description. Mm -hmm. am, I, am I to get offended because he called me the black dude, the little black dude? Like, he described me. <laughs> right. In my hood, when I say J-Rock is my nigga, I'm describing him. I'm giving him credibility. It, 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 when he's my nigga, he's valid. Right. He's a solid mm -hmm. one. He's a real one. I did a whole song called I Love My Niggas. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Do it hard, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Because I, I, I love him. And in there, I think I say, I, I go, I can't remember. I go, J-Rock. I start. Um, right from my hood, right? 
Yeah, it was on the pray for one of the pray for my yeah. hood, but it say, I love my niggas. Something, something, something. But I say it's a line in there that says, I'll probably be persecuted. <laughs> the church probably the gonna church persecute because me. I called y'all niggas. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I called y'all yeah. niggas. I was on mute. Yeah. The church gonna persecute me, homie, because I called y'all niggas. Do y'all right. do y'all, right. do y'all but deal if with you gonna pray until the police no longer spray and kill up my niggas or something on them lines, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I meant every single word. Mm. Say, do y'all deal with that when when y'all go to like certain venues? Is it like, well, we can't play this song here because listen, they to gonna... <laughs> bro, they, it, it'd be oh, fake. Okay. Listen, I've been to I've been to been to events where they asked me and uh, uh, Faith if y'all gonna do that song mm-hmm. because this is what it is. They don't bring us out to the youth groups, right? Right. Right. They don't bring us out. I mean, well, I, I go on 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 tour um, um, and I do the I've, I've done the CHH circuit. Yeah. Right. But I don't have to leave San Diego. I don't have to leave California. If you bring I've been doing this so long in the state of California that when you bring me, you expect to see me. Right. Not only that pastors you know how the church is they don't let you just give altar calls the pastor goes to the office and be like Dante you go close us out mm. <laughs> J-Rock uh, uh, Hurt if he's mobbing with us Ivy, Diamond, let's get to work and then what you see I watched them maneuver and I sit back and I watched the Holy Spirit operate in each one of these dudes to do what he he's called them to do. Who am I? Who am I to put my tongue on any of these men for what they do? I'm not trying to justify my use of the word, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to discredit the use of it, right? Or your ministry. <laughs> right, right. That's what, yo, when, 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 right, uh, I don't want to say to, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me because that go. Let, let me just finish uh, the point that I was talking about too. So yeah. what happens is if we got things that are used in different ways, and and that goes for for looks also because that's another thing we hear. But so you can use this to mean I love you. There's half a million deaf people in the United States, right? And they're that's using right. it to say yeah. I love. And it's an emoji. That's right. It's an emoji. <laughs> Satanists are using their hand to praise Satan. Um, <laughs> as far as looks, watch this. That's that's confusion also because there are people dressed in suit and tie every day that's criminals. Right. I'll Ugh. take you further. There are people of the cloth who are molesting children. Right. So we need to be very careful by encouraging people to manipulate and make you, there's people who ain't Christian, who who dress well, and there's people who are Christian and dress hood, right? Right. So we can't judge by that. Just like there's people who use their hand to praise Satan, there's people who use their hands to pray. There's people who use words to tear down and there's people who use words to build up. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly, to take it to scripture, the way there are Preachers that use the word of Jesus Christ to manipulate, get rich, take advantage. And there are people that use the word of God to save souls. Now, how do we know the difference in a world with all this confusion, right? Well, we're told, we are told in scripture, we're talking about what's not scripture is somebody's opinion on all these things. But what is scripture is that we was told very specifically when confused about this, how to judge. And I know every one of y'all know the answer to that. You will know them by the fruit. fruits. Thank yeah, y'all. Fruit. Now watch this. What's going on now, y'all? Is people going, yeah, I know they fruits. But check this right. out. Here go my opinion. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That is <laughs> anti. That is complete. That's, heresy. that's not Christian. That's right. That's right. almost, that's blasphemy level. To say Christ told me to judge like this but I'm going to judge it like like this. this. And you're putting fruit to the side, which is what me and Dante were talking about. And I love what Dante said about that also was that, hey, hog mob is becoming those dudes who use the N word and use hand songs instead of the, 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 
let's talk about the fruit that I appreciate y'all let us sit here and talk about for an hour, right? right. There is hours of fruit to talk about in this ministry. It mm-hmm. can't be, I know they got fruit, but I've literally heard that. I've literally heard, I right. know, but that's right. blasphemy, y'all. And, and, yeah. and nobody yeah. has the right that's, to, yeah, that's to good. judge any other way than we are told scriptural. And that's pretty much just point blank, period. In We're the, told to judge by fruit. If you judge yeah. it by anything else, you wrong. Man, and I love that y'all it, come here. And address it, it on here. <laughs> yeah, straight up, straight up. And we, we appreciate y'all having us for real because yeah, yeah, when, thank you. when I first started sharing my testimony about seven, and I told y'all I didn't like bro. Mm-hmm. I didn't care for him because I judged him for using the N-word. Mm. And then I go on tour with this dude and I watch this dude with, 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 Seven has real fame. Don't get it twisted. Like I, I hear what CHH talk about him, but Seven, Seven has songs with Snoop. He's like he's right. already did these things, right? I go on tour with this dude, and I watch this dude humble himself with a to do ministry with a karaoke machine. <laughs> I've been on tours all around the country with this dude, where he got eight dudes with him. He's making whatever, 15 to 2,500 a night, and he gives it to every last one of us. Wow. I've been on tour with this dude. I've, 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 hog mob, hog mob helped me bury my father. Mm. I buried my father off of the, 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 the blessings of hog mob. It's like, bro, we got you, you one of us. How can how can I I assist you? Hog Mob is not a record label, man. We give this yeah. music, we we gave all this music for free, spent thousands and thousands of dollars on hotels and studio time and right. all this only to generate funds to do more ministry. Mm. Yeah, it's very insulting. It's very insulting, Dante. Like, bro, man. <laughs> mm. I love I love all my brothers passionate. And, and and Dante just he just provokes that passion in you sometimes. It's just like no man, I just be because if you ever know real, right, because if you ever know if you if you walk with Dante, it. right? If you if you walk with Dante, you you don't just it's not just passion you hear, exactly you see it. And one of the things that I wanted to address is the fact that when it comes to this ministry, when it comes to Hog Mob Ministries, by the grace of God, I'm like now like two plus years in this thing. Um, is that brothers literally, literally are putting their lives on the line every day? Literally, mm. literally, like this is beyond music. Like right. I, I hear a lot of Christian rappers. I hear people, and it sounds good. You know, they rap about it. Oh, we in the turf. We doing this. We doing that. We we talking to the killers. We. This is a ministry where. I was estranged from that for so long because I was by myself alone on the curb. I, that's how God saved me. I was all the way in Jacksonville, Florida. When I moved from LA, I was in Jacksonville, Florida. Well, from well, from Syracuse, then I went to Jacksonville, Florida when I moved from LA. But when I was in Jacksonville, I got saved 2007 and I was hitting the curb out there with music. And I was around Doughboys. After a year being there, I got saved. And man, I mean, Cash, I mean, it was active. There was times where the apartment, well, um, um, uh, um, the parking lot got shot up where I was at just selling CDs and in certain neighborhoods and and, wow. and whatnot, where you, where you just it just barely escaping death. I'm packing up my CD station right before people are getting robbed by, uh, uh, in, in, like far as the store uh, managers by gunpoint and then getting mm-hmm. killed by the police in the back of the building trying to run out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I risk my life being out there telling people about the gospel and making a living for me and my wife. And so to see a ministry full of soldiers that are dedicated to actually do this thing, you know what I'm saying? Really for Christ, because we all right. know what it's like to risk our life for some gang banging or right, just right. hustling mm-hmm. on the streets or just some typical, ignorant, dumb trap of the enemy. But to be on this side and to say it and to do it, this is stuff that should be a given anyway, but to know that you're amongst brothers that 
or like-minded is very precious, man, because you hear it in the music, but you don't see it in the people. Mm -hmm. um, when you're looking at their lifestyle, they're very comfortable, you know, um, but to be a part of this ministry and see that brothers is really ready to actually call their wives and say, if it's over, like people left, people have left home getting their affairs in order before touring. Right. Mm. People right. have, have, have already let that, they, they've already, hey, I may not come back. You know what I'm saying? Like my wife deals with the fact that I may not come back almost every time I do ministry, whether it's in my local neighborhood or, or elsewhere. She always says the same thing. When I'm loading up my, my, my 66 books in the cannon or something else, she <laughs> says, be careful or be safe. That's all of us though. That's everybody. It every, every I would, I would say this, you're not going to get off the phone with not one of these brothers that ain't going to say I love you. Mm. You ain't finna get off the phone with none of it. Hey, be safe. Call me as soon as you touch ground. These three ethics, they still exist. Right. It, for real. Like, like, bro, what we bring in 21 men that come from all different ethnicities, all different backgrounds into one house right after getting off on off of drugs they ain't transformed <laughs> right right mm. you I, I, this is what i'm around every day all day every day i'm around the worst kind the worst kind of individuals <laughs> unfortunately i don't get to go i don't get to 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 work out of a church where everybody that comes into the building is in respect of the building. 99% mm. of the men that come in into this home are selfish by nature. Right. They got high, drunk. They didn't care about their kids. They didn't care about their wives. They didn't care about their salvation. They didn't care about themselves. Those are the demons that I'm on the front line, got to deal with every single day. Mm. I'm, I'm, we face to face with demons. So, so when I hear when I hear the critique of our use of words, the way we dress, the signs we we throw up, and then I hear guys that talk about how they in the hood doing this and they doing that, and I listen to the music, and then I'm like, okay, this is good entertainment. Right. But you're but you got men that are doing Christian hip hop that are damning themselves to hell by lying in their lyrics. <laughs> because reality is you're not in the hood uh, giving back. You're not going into the prisons and ministering in the prisons. You're 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 you you take the stage and, and hog mob, we 50 deep supporting our brother to go do ministry. Right? When you go on stage, you back in the back with me in the green room, chilling. <laughs> Bro, you right. got Christian, you got people who doing Christian hip hop that ain't doing Christian. Right, mm. and, and that's what I mean. And I'm not, and oh. I'm not speaking on a, a on a particular per person. I'm not. Yeah, not. Right. I'm saying this overall, right? Because mm -hmm. sometimes I I I got brothers that do so many events that all they want to do is come off that stage and go in that back room and, and, and be amongst their brothers, right? All right? There is a fellowship that is needed. And like, like GOM just, just left LA. These are my bros. I drive up there just to hang out with my brothers. The, they were doing a, a virtual set. So, I mean, it wasn't like they had an audience, right? Uh, but... I hung with the bros the whole time. We've talked about everything in the streets onto the church, mm -hmm. right? Um, them brothers don't jump on me for my choice of words or my my language, right? right. When we when it's time to sit down and break open that Bible, we all sharpen swords, right? Right. When you when you look at when you look at the Christian hip hop community, 
what is Christian hip hop without Christian morals? Right. What what is Christian hip hop if we're not doing and 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 it Jared Jared Sanders will jump on me for real because he'll say, Oh, don't go Jesus on me, don't go Jesus on me. <laughs> you can't say Christian hip hop without it. Right. Either Jesus is either Jesus hip hop or it's just hip hop. That's mm-hmm. right. And 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 if we if if we if we put in our lyrics and we say how we're doing this in the hood, how we're doing that. I was looking at I was looking at uh, a podcast from KB and I never watched this uh this stuff. And KB was saying like it's hard for him to rap today because he used to rap about how he was out there putting it down. And now that the famous came, he's not out there like he used to be. Mm. I remember that. So he can't put that in a rap. Right? Um I be in hoods, I, 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 and 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 if we hit a hundred hoods across the United States, where have you? Where are you at? <laughs> We've hit a hundred. All right, we all at. <laughs> we hit hundred, and guess what? When we hit we those, outside, every time we hit those cities, we tap in. Mm, we tap right. in. We cats come to California. You you better tap in, or we putting up a no fly zone up out here. <laughs> <laughs> when you in California, what they do when Selah came out as soon as the plane dropped, Tay, we out here. B, Biz hit me up sometimes, like, "Where you at, man? I ain't even in the town right now." Right, Brian T. When he out here, he, they touch bases. Like, and if it's not me. They touching bases with other ministries that are doing ministry, mm-hmm. right? If yeah. if if we're doing a hundred cities, we're not the only Christian entity, but our our job is to go make these uh, make make disciples of men. If that's what we're called to, then everybody that's doing this should be doing what Hog Mob is doing. Right. Not saying your music has to be catered to this, but right. Who are you discipling? Mm-hmm. Right? Where what what is your fruit producing? Right? And I don't want to, I don't want to sound like hog mob is this and the rest of them ain't. That's not what I'm no. saying. Yeah, right. yeah, what cool. I'm saying, yeah, is, we're not getting that impression at all. No. Yeah, what I'm saying is hog mob is a ministry first. Right. right. I think it's key what you said though, like who who are you discipling? Right? Because that's right. big. That that's 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 what we call to do. Right. Thanks. You know, and, and, you it's, know, it's, it's, it's not have shows, not get, sell t-shirts. Right, right. We get we get praised for doing, we get praised for doing what, what we're supposed to do. Right. So much praise to where it's like, wow, you know, wow, that feels that feels good because feel uh, beautiful. Lisa, like this is Christian 101. Mm-hmm. This is Bible 101 to make disciples, right? Like mm-hmm. The reason why Hog Mob was so attracted, so attractive to me, was because being in infantry and still salute infantry, right? Infantry first. I know I talk to these brothers on a weekly basis, and they all getting it in in a they all getting it in in their neighborhood. They all discipling somebody. They all in the ghetto still too. You know what I'm saying for the most part, or they'll travel to. Where they from, and they'll get it. The hood. We ain't all in right. the hood no more. Right, right, right. Exactly. But they'll travel, right? They'll get there, and so and so by the grace of God, like it's but it's far in between because you don't hear too much coming from infantry or from hog mob. But only when you hear hog mob is, oh, they toss up devil signs and say nigga. <laughs> That's right. your only impression. God help you. <laughs> <laughs> now I got, I got. I got a question for 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 Diamond How, because you're not on the West Coast and and Hog Mob, for the most part, people think it's just a West Coast ministry. How did how did you link up with Seven Deuce and how did you get involved with with Hog Mob altogether? Oh man, that was crazy. Well, when I was uh, you know y'all got a little bit of that from View mm-hmm. uh, when I was working on my album with View uh, by myself out there, I had a situation come up and I. Long story short, I just went to reach out for uh, 
features mm -hmm. and reached out to seven deuce and you know when i caught with seven when i hit seven deuce um it was just dope because we just really clicked um very similar dudes similar backgrounds and just ended up being on the phone for probably four or five hours maybe even more i can't remember but never got to music right uh, never got to music a matter of fact it, it literally ended up being about three months or better before it ever got to music back to music what the original conversation was about wow. Wow. I remember and, uh, that. yeah and then uh you know he basically just I, 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 at that time, was sort of on my own, you know what I'm saying, uh, walk and everything, you know what I mean? So he basically just took me under his wing, started discipling me, like we supposed to, was dope, y'all talking about right, right. discipling, because people don't understand that Hog Mob First is a discipleship ministry in a brotherhood, mm -hmm. right, of whole accountability system of holding brothers accountable, right, and, and doing what we are supposed to do. Cause it's funny why everybody's pointing their fingers at us. You don't see us pointing our fingers at nobody, man. Right, true story. And what we are doing is holding each other accountable and making sure that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. So basically, I just I, I was discipled by uh, Deuce, me and him. That's my brother. Shout out Deuce. And um, I had a I had a video uh, for a song that he was in, and. A lot of I didn't even know, but a lot of the brothers came out. And uh when they pulled up to the video, uh Sev hopped out, you know, Zay, a lot of the brothers uh just popped out and we sort of got to know each other then, which led to um I mean a few months later after that they just gave me the invitation. Wow. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, some hey, something else I wanted to say too about what we was talking about earlier, man. Uh -huh. that I like I like the way Dante said about, you know, our ministry is very unique because we go places where it's true, where our, our wives don't know if we're coming home and have accepted that and are willing to lay down our lives for the gospel. But what goes with that, y'all, is that we are able to do that for the exact same things that people point their fingers at us for. Right. Um, we are we pulled up and hopped out in neighborhoods where they was like, y'all can't pull up in there. Right. right. We like, watch out. We finna pull up. Well, at least go down the street a little bit and, and we better just walk in there. But <laughs> man, we finna pull up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and hopped out. I, one of the best that I can remember was with the brother live shout out live and uh, Ray Duggar. And we pulled up and there's a bunch of, a bunch of brothers outside and a, and a, and a couple shorties. And, and when we pulled up, the brother, they was a bloods and they ran in, the, they ran, they sort of bounced in inside the breezeway when we pulled up and we all just hopped out and ran, you know, sort of bounced up on them. And they was like, uh, the girls was the only ones left. And it was like, yo, 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 what's good? What's good? What's good? And we was like, you know, praise God, man. We here in the name of Jesus, man. And they, they <laughs> was straight up legit tripped out, man. Was like, Jesus, man, we just knew y'all was some gangsters rolling up. Right now. Because of that, within 20 minutes, well, because of that, we were able to talk to them and relate to them, and they were willing to sit there and listen to right. us. Now, because of that, God was able to use us in a way, 20 minutes later, all three of them shorties gave their light to Christ. Bandanas oh, on and everything. Praise God. Praise God. It actually walked us, went with us from there and walked us around the neighborhood like, oh, they crazy over there. They need y'all. They need y'all over there. They need y'all. And we literally seen almost 20 people get a light to Christ in that one wow. ill Praise neighborhood God. in that one night where some of the brothers was literally like, yo, y'all come over here. What y'all on? And the same thing. Jesus. Oh, man. We would have never. Right. So my point is this. If somebody goes up to somebody and dress like a way you don't like, use words you don't like and use their hands like you don't like but walk up to a man and share the gospel and is and the Lord used that to bring that man to him. How crazy did a person who look going, yeah, they might've got saved, but Hey, back to the way you was talking to him. No. Right. <laughs> what about that word you used? Oh, how foolish is that? And that's what yeah. we're dealing with, man. 
Mm-hmm. So I mean, Amen. I believe Amen. because a hog mob is who they is. And a matter of fact, I don't believe I know because I've lived it. I've watched it. I've watched us have the amazing ability to be used by the Lord to mm-hmm. reach individuals that 99 percent of people would never go near. Mm. Right. Right. Ne- neighborhoods that people wouldn't dare to step in, like Dante was talking about, knocking on doors in these neighborhoods, right. running up on dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we run up on dudes strapped up, smoked out, drinking, and not thought twice about it. And also watch some of them come to the, you know, watch the Lord be be able to use us to bring them to the Lord. So it's just funny to me how a lot of the things that people criticize are actually the same things. You know, the Lord say that. The, he used the foolish things to confound the wise. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what's happening here. And I don't think we're able to judge on anything but fruit and how foolish was somebody to be. But like, yeah, they got saved, but there ain't no but. That's right. It ain't no but after the Lord used something to bring somebody under him, man, period. Amen. The Amen. greatest Praise commandment. God. The greatest What you say, Dr. Love, right? The greatest commandment is love. Right. Um, I beat 25 years. I met, I met Christ in a jail cell. I confessed in a jail cell, fighting for my life. I was transformed high on ecstasy. Wow. J-Rock, J-Rock gunshots and came through the window. He didn't got shot. He hiding behind a, 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 a flips a table over the, to, to cover himself, fighting for his life. Air, air, uh, 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 helicopter pick him up, life flight to the hospital, fighting for his life. Wow. I can't go, I can't, I mean, if Ivy, if, if I, if Ivy should be a lemon behind who he used to be. His mind shouldn't be, it shouldn't even be on the same page according to who he used to be, right? Diamond had been shot up He'd have been in every black neighborhood you can think of. Why are we saying the N word? Imagine being the only white. When you have to face being being plumbed into this culture and you're the only one, the only one opposite of the culture. You the you the you the cream filling inside the uh, Oreo cookie. <laughs> And then you adopt this whole culture. Guess what? If if Diamond was in my hood right now, how he carry himself and he said nigga around any of my niggas, they wouldn't question him. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't question him now. He's of the culture. Right? If, if, if we don't say with the N word alone, if we don't say this word does not mean that, it does not shake blacks anymore. Then Rosa Park never gets to the front seat of the bus. We still stay in the back of the bus. No, she took a stand that said sit, sitting in this front seat is going to mean something one day. If we take a word and use it as a word of endurement and move that word from the back seat to the front seat of the bus, it has an opportunity to change the world. The use of that one word can really be used to break racism. If everybody remove the derogatory meaning and give words life instead of giving them darkness. Right. We choose the power with it. Right. And and, and with with me, what I was saying is uh, about love being the, the, the greatest commandment, right? All these brothers come from the worst. Unfortunately, their testimonies are not fluffy God didn't save them he didn't save them to change up and become something else he just wanted to cleanse the interior yes. right right and give them a, give him a, a place of shelter to dwell within So now you have a Christ that dwells on the inside and spews things out on the outside. Only God 
could take a word that had a derogatory meaning and bring it to you and use it as life. So when I say to J Rock, I love you, my nigga, it, 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 it's, it's done it, it, with endurement. It's not used to slaughter or, 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 or in a derogatory term. Right. Like it's not. So, right. so I'm not trying to justify it. We're not trying to justify it. I can't justify the way I dress. It is what it is. This is how I like to dress, right? I'm not a crip, but I still love the color blue. That's a paisley <laughs> rag up there hanging. Uh, uh, I'm not going to change, right? right? I, I, you don't see me wear a lot of red because I don't like red, right? I love blue. Yeah. I am not a crip. I will never bang crip a day again in my life. No. It is demonic. But I want to see every crip saved. I want to see every blood saved. Amen. And I'm not going to stop until it, it, it's accomplished. And what I see from a place of ministry, hall mob is a home where you can find true fellowship, find true accountability. That same conversation that you used to have in the living room with your homies. Hey, bro, I'm finna go get this chick. I'm finna go smash this chick. Over here? No, nah, bro, that's not the thing to do, bro. You're going to get corrected. Mm -hmm. In a effort in an effort that you may take this wisdom and apply it in your fight against your flesh right that's what hog mob is we hold each other to accountability we operate with a ton of love and i thank god for it because jesus operates in love seven operates with a ton of love i operate in with a ton of love. And as you see throughout the ministry, it sprinkles around the brother. If y'all was to hang out with us, y'all wouldn't want to go home. I'm telling <laughs> you, bro. No different than we've been on, on the pod and we don't want to get off. <laughs> it's the longest joint. It's <laughs> we broke records it's today. We broke road. records. It's my time. Yeah. And, 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 but this is what fellowship is with us. Yeah. Yeah. So we was going. Go ahead, go ahead, Dante. Now, so when you when you fellowship mm -hmm. with us and you meet brothers like MC, um, actually next week I think we dropping a a, a song with MC on it. Uh, Me, myself, Diamond, MC, and Ivy, right? And MC was doing twenty five. Actually, MC was doing life. Yeah, he was doing life in prison. God gave him a second opportunity at life. He came home, he do ministry with me full time. He's from Hog Mob. When he came home, he went right back into the prison to do ministry, not as, a, uh, as an inmate, but to share his power, uh, share the transformation power of Jesus Christ wow. through his testimony. He's in prisons doing the work. He actually, um, him and his wife is actually moving into the home in Kansas with seven, mm -hmm. right? To be discipled. Bazooka packed up his wife and kids, moved to Kansas to be discipled. This is these are the moves that men are making on behalf of wrapping themselves, engulfing themselves right. around the gospel. These are the life. decisions we make. Real, yeah, real the life. life. That, 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 but these these things are what what Hog Mob teaches, right? So that you may grow. So when you see Hog Mob. Um, and if I, if there's anybody out there listening, um, don't be discouraged by the N word. Don't be, ex it, uh, uh, discouraged by, by the dress code or, 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 or the hand signs. Like we got dudes that don't dress like us in hog mob mm -hmm. that you never see on the front line because they don't rap. They don't come in. They don't get in videos. Um, we got Collins, which is. Collins owns multiple restaurants in Bakersfield and he owned houses and put the homies in the houses. Collins look nothing like us. We have Mike um, Green. Huh? Shout out to homie Mike Green. Right. Mike Green, yeah. Right. Yeah. Sergio. Sergio about earlier. DJ Aaron. Joker. DJ Joker is fresh off the military. Straight square bear from Delaware. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Listen to me. 
When that boy get in these groups, he don't bite his tongue about nothing. He ain't gonna tell you exactly how it is. Bro, I, you gangster, but I ain't scared of you. Like he's serious. Right, right. They not, but, but we don't even put on those fronts and facades. Right. J Rock is a gentle Christ. giant. Right. Diamond's a gentle giant. I'm I, I'm 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 gentle. I operate in the fruit, man. I'm finna love on you. Going right, it's it, 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 to, to get to get witness to get witness to what you're saying, man. Like we've been in the chat. I think I've been in the chat with you for maybe like two years now. Yeah. And every time something come up, you're always like the voice of reason. You know what I'm saying? Like you always you always like thinking about like one step ahead. You know, and whatever whatever it's about, it could be about let's say a, a rapper getting shot or, or right. whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like some some you would see on World Star something. You always right. like come with a level head. And I think that that's that's kind of a big misconception that people have about hog mob, I would say, you know, because you're a representation of hog mob is 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 that people think like, you know, you guys are out here wilding, you know what right, I mean? When right. th that's that's far from the case, you know what I'm saying? Like I know people who have told me, like, oh yeah, they came to my city, you know, they came to my hood, you know, mm -hmm. like just set up a barbecue, you know what I mean? Right. And started rapping with a with a with a with a with a boom box or whatever. You right. know what I mean? Karaoke machine or whatever, you know? So right. um I don't know where this misconception comes like like you guys are just going in like some shooters or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, hey, like beating hey, up, beating cool up people. No, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, let me this ain't yo. <laughs> this ain't Vlad. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. This ain't <laughs> I, that's, but yo. people, that's people that that I think that's people that's not even, you know, I don't want to say they they not from that culture, but right. that's I mean, what it is, bro. That's what, it, yeah. I mean, I guess you can't say that, right? Because I'm gonna yeah. say this, man. Y'all, you know, um, y'all, y'all can tell, right? Every one of y'all can sit here and and think back on every situation y'all been in, and now you think back and how God had His hand in that man. situation. Yes. You know right. what I'm saying. Yeah. So oh. when you do that now and you see that, you know what I mean, you. You could tell you at where you at now for a reason. Yeah, you placed there for that reason. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. absolutely. And, right. And I say that because, you know, what I'm saying it's necessary. Right. Y'all necessary to be in those areas, to be in them situations. Because listen, when the person came to me talking about Jesus, it wasn't, it wasn't a person in a suit. Right. It wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't trying to hear it. Right. It wasn't until somebody that I could relate to can come to me uh, right. and holler at me about it. Cause I wasn't hearing it from nobody else. Right. You know what I'm saying? So in this situation, like I said, it's necessary. You know what I mean? So uh -huh. y'all need it for that. And God put y'all in that position for a reason. And anybody else who don't understand that, man, well, it, it ain't for you to understand. Hey, that's real, mm -hmm. man. I appreciate that, man. And, uh, that also goes, uh, that's something else we heard. Mm -hmm. uh, a little two cents on about the testimony and Don, Dante touched on about the power of your testimony. That's what the word mm. says. We draw people unto him is the power of your testimony. That's not right. us saying there's power in that. That's the word of God saying that. Right. Mm -hmm. And that it's our obligation to share our testimony because that's where the transformation lies. So I say that to say this, if we reach in the people that we can, I could go up to them and just start sharing the gospel, but they're going to be like, you don't understand the, you wasn't in this life, right? Or, right, I've done this. There's no turning back for me. God don't want me. I'm definitely going to hell. Well, there is power in going, doggy, I did worse than that. Right, and, right. And look where I'm at. Not only can you be saved, but he can use you for a purpose in his kingdom. And, right. and that, yes, unfortunately, I mean, not unfortunately, fortunately, but people don't want to understand that is that the power actually lies in the testimony because right. they not, you just said it. And thank you for saying that my boy, because I like most people the same way. I would have never heard it either. And maybe if somebody who looked like me had came up, I would have heard it a long time ago, man. Right. And right. It's, exactly. Right. It's the testimony where the power lies because that shows the transformation power of Christ in the blood, because that's going, Hey, you know what, man, if he can save him, man, maybe he can't save me. If he can have That's a certain, facts. if he can take that and turn him into that, maybe he can do something for me as well. So there's never enough testimony, man. No. You know, the people have a problem with us. Okay, we get it. You used to be a gangbang, used to be in the streets, used to be selling dope. Okay, move on. 
Well, that's like telling an evangelist, you can share your testimony in Tennessee, but you can't share it. You can't do it in Ohio. That is right, it's ridiculous. Right. Look, yeah. Right. That's fact. Hey, I mean, you know, it, 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 go ahead, Ivy. No, no, it's just being, I mean, it's, it's, God has created us to be in relationship. That's what the body of Christ is. Yes. We are, you know, we have relationship mm -hmm. yeah. one another. Um, how did the father relate to his creation, sending his son, right? Um, to relate, he was a man of infirmities, right? I'm, 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 with, without sin, but I mean afflictions, right? So he was afflicted like we was, yet without sin. But he related, he hugged, he knew what it was like to miss, he knew what it was like to lose yeah. one of his homeboys and cool. weep over his homie that didn't pass, you know? Like he and so with this, we relate to people, right. not 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 also making up some stuff to relate, no, but saying life too has scarred me. Right. But look what God has done. That's good, boy. Hey, right, yeah. Ivy. And right, and you know, in the world, what they say. Real recognize real. Yeah, real yeah, recognize yeah. real. Absolutely. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, so, you know what's well, beautiful that I'm in the church is discernment now. My bad switch. No, no, no. <laughs> it's all good. You know what's beautiful that I'm hearing is that you know, gangs claim to to provide these type of things. You know what I'm saying? Family, right? Family, we ride or die together. You know what I'm saying? And those are things, you know, because I don't like like we said earlier, like everything that's pagan. Or, or or is involved in the hood isn't bad necessarily. That's like right. it's sometimes it matches up with what the what a Christian is. That's you good, know what I'm man. Saying? The cycle so, said it again. Yeah. So you guys are providing what the gang members are looking yes. for. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And, so, and yeah. let's be honest, some gang thing. members, some gang members is like, yo, I want to, I want to get out this life. I want to, you know what I mean? I want to go make money. I want to do this. I want to change my life. And y'all there. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's we, good, man. What what, yeah. what what God has what God has you seven to accomplish. Yeah. Originally just started for the sake of fellowship. Right. Mm. Do you know what it's like to go into the church and be the only one that don't understand it? I'm not a mm -hmm. PK kid. Ain't that what mm -hmm. they call them, Pastor Kid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't sing. I didn't. I didn't have a choir group to hang with. The youngsters my age, I had to hang with old heads in the church. Then I'm leaving the church and I'm hanging out with old heads, and I go to his house and me and the old head kicking it. Where's my fellowship? That's it. So, so, so God has create, has, has used seven to create a fellowship for this man that has been rejected, this man that has been scorned, this man that has been torn, this mm. man that has been rejected by, by, by the world. Mm. And all of a sudden, this thug, this gangbanger, this, this rap artist has became this entity that the world wants to be. Mm. Right? Now that we are, we're, we became what um, 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 the world wants to be, nobody knows the interior that's created that. Mm. That's created this monster that they want to be. So they try to put the persona on to be this man that, that, that has been tormented to be this, this way. The, the PTSD that run through these brothers, you, you be amazed, hmm. right? Yeah. The, I'm going to put it out there, but sometimes I'll be with J-Rock and, and J-Rock, I have a, a, a complete anxiety attack, right? Where, where he has, he, he, his anxiety get going, right? Um, but I know how to love my brother back, back right, right? My brother also is, when my back is turned, he got it 110%. I'll tell you this, 
let you go somewhere. I guarantee you would rather mob with two hog mob guys than 20 <laughs> other guys. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Why? Why? And I'm not saying we out there bullying the nation. Right, right, right. But we adapt to whatever situation we're in. We are really going to give you the, the, the blood of Christ. That's all we know to offer. I don't know. I don't know too many other things than to operate and give you what Jesus, what thus says the Lord. I'm not going to compromise for the sake of you because that's not how I'm raised. I'm going to give you what God has given me to give you. Praise mm-hmm. God. Hog mob. What God poured into seven and what seven has poured into us, I witness it do what it's supposed to do. Yes. Right. So so when you when you see me in that chat and they talking about who's the goat and I say seven. Thanks. I you are a great rapper. You 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 have more fans. I'm talking about rubies and cry, the rubies in your crown. Right. I'm right. talking about what 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 I, I know what my brother's robe is gonna look like because I know right. what my brother done done. Right. right, right. And as long as I mob with seven, I will be a reflection of who Christ is to make sure that I don't damage the credibility of hog mob, I don't damage the credibility of seven, and I don't damage the credibility of, of, of my savior. Right? Amen. Because what Amen. he's poured into him, I've owned. It's, I don't represent hog mob. I am hog mob. Mm-hmm. I am hooked on God. I choose ministry over business. Mm-hmm. This home is an example of it. My relationship with my brothers is, a, is, is an example of it. Like, this is what we are. This is what we do. And I'm not trying to build us up to be something we're not. Right, we're right. Not. The blood of Jesus that 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 bleeds over hog mob is a beautiful thing. So for those for those that put their tongues on us, they put their tongues on us. We we've already uh, 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 agreed to the persecution that comes along with doing this. They said mm-hmm. Christ was operating with Satan. So I mean, mm-hmm. Jesus said hey. that they would hate us because of him. So hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> don't, don't get it twisted though. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Seven got bars though. Oh, in the conversation. I mean, I feel you. I feel everything that you're saying, but his name needs to be in the conversation. Listen, the brothers, the brothers, the brothers are very, 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 very talented artists. Listen, but but like Christ said, they called the master of the house Beelzebub. What do you think they're gonna call you? They called him. They called him a drunkard. They called him a glutton. You know. Um, and we're never gonna be called they nothing. They crucified him. The church. And they crucified him. Yeah. Right. Crucified. And so we kid ourselves. <laughs> we kid ourselves when we think we're gonna be called anything less than. Yes. Facts. Right. Right. Hey. So by the grace of God, is, guess what? Heroes. Heroes always get their proper or due or or their praise later. Like mm, right. We get slain. Twenty years from now. Oh, Ivy was this, that, and the third. Dante was this. Oh, this, you know, let me tell you about J Rock and Diamond. Let me tell you about Seven. Let me tell you about all my. And it'd be, it, it'd be the thing 20, 40, 50 years from now, 100 years from now. Yeah. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. But, in the, but in the day that we live in, operating as those that are okay with being called names and being, being different and, 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 and being convicted with the power of the Holy Spirit to live out with us, saith the Lord. In the present time, it's not going to be accepted. Right. The praise that comes later, it's yeah. neither here nor there. As long as I'm rocking with brothers that's encouraging me, like scripture says, while today is today, encourage your brothers. I got brothers yeah. that's encouraging me on the daily. I'm yeah. encouraging brothers on the daily. I'm loving brothers on the daily. They loving me on the, like what Dante say, it's I love you. I love you, homie, too. I mean, I love you. Dante say, I love you more. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, Dante. I get, I, I get my validation with the brothers that rock with me that yeah. understand who I am in Christ. Mm. And I'm good with that. If yeah. I'm never going to be accepted with whoever, man, so be it. I'm never, I'm not here to change your mind as far right. as yeah. change the mind of the skeptic. But right. I am called, by the grace of God, I am called to call those to change their mind, which is repentance right. to believe right. the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, change your mind in that sense. Hey, 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 just change to, your mind just to hear about how you view me, that's neither here nor there. I want you to change your mind about the Savior. 
about eternal life. Right. And however that Amen. looks like, whatever role right. I got to play in your life, or whoever yeah. one of us in the mob got to play in your life, so be it. Let me, Man, hey, just to tap in with you though, Jimmy, listen yeah. to me. Yeah. You come in the hog mob, <laughs> hey, here, that man's the goat. Yeah. We're in the studio with him. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, hey, let me Frank, tell you something. This he's dude, not human. He, he does the whole <laughs> song in minutes. In wow. minutes. We just left right. the studio. Listen to me. I'm not lying to you, dog. Right, right. When we did this My Millennium album, we mm. did 22 songs, shot seven videos in three days. Three days. Wow. Wow. Mm. Let me, he's, his push, his grind, yeah. next level. It, 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 not human, they, he don't sleep. He not, he a scientist with the with the music. Oh, I, I'm are we doing you, all I've this? been in the industry, I've been around a lot of dudes people respect. Look, that while man, we doing all this, he's still ministering. The GOAT. Right. And punching you in the mouth with the gospel. Yes. <laughs> Making you, hey, look, hey, go in, go in the fellowship room, start a conversation about Jesus. Right. They in there goofing off, they giggling, they laughing. Like he's ministry minded the whole time, bro. Yeah. This ain't. Yeah. I've never seen anything like him. You, you want to know how many songs like that, Seven got? Seven? Man, you ain't doing no song with Seven. Mm. We ain't doing no. When was the last time, other than I've been knowing these dudes forever, uh, yeah. uh, J Rock and me and J Rock, how many songs we got together, J Rock? Like three, I think. Ivy, we ain't did a song until when? Me and you? Yeah, just recently. Yeah, yeah. Not even recently. Like, bro, wow. this this music stuff is far from any of us. Right, right. Seven probably has a catalog of over a thousand songs. Sheesh. We got a disc. We got a hog mob disc that you get as a Patreon or a download with over 507 songs. Right. Wow. You give me somebody else in CHH that has that catalog. Wow. wow. Not sitting in the, right. oh, and this is, don't speak on what's been recorded and ain't been right. put out. <laughs> right, 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 right. These like, are releases. Like, right, and, and, and that's not to include the gaps of God telling him sit down and stop doing music. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's not including the fact that he engineers, record, he uh, produces he plays the keyboard he's a beautiful singer and why when he sing it sound just like the rap how come his personality no nah, dude's a goat man yeah we, we <laughs> gotta goat. get him on the we gotta get him on here and, and, and guess what? <laughs> it, let me tell you if they speak of goats and and these other goats got people writing their lyrics <laughs> <laughs> and he I only got the Holy Ghost. Names. He only got the Holy Ghost right in his lyrics, right? <laughs> hey, hey. So anyway, right? The first site, the cipher we did with me, illuminate faith, and all us, right? So, um, or oh, he'll kick you off a song too if it ain't right. Yeah. Or oh, he make you throw it over. Or uh, hey, do it over. You be writing the whole rap. Nah, you be writing. You be off. But but look, Go. we so we in the studio and um I wrote my verse the night before. Came in, illuminate went, then uh uh Qheen went. Mm -hmm. I said, Oh, I'm gonna go rewrite my verse, right? <laughs> so I go back, I rewrite my verse. Seven's recording us arises shooting videos for us. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I go in there and write my write my verse. No, I go in there and rap my verse. Seven hit pause. He hit pause. Then he told Arise, hey, come record this nigga. That dude left, came back. I think he rapped like 24 bars. <laughs> and, and he wrote it in, hold on, he wrote it, recorded it in like all the 30 minutes. Wow. The dude recorded, he recorded himself the same 30, um, 24 bars, he did like, what would I say? Probably 10 takes in like 15 minutes. And he listened to him, listened to him, listened to him, listened to him, listened to him and say, all right, I like this one. Erase the rest. But it, it, it's so quick, it's like, then wow. a hook. 
Next thing you know, the hook is out. These dudes, they're not doing his work. They don't have his work ethic. Right, they, right. They don't. I mean, and then he writes music. He writes a music that is that is received in the church and the streets, and they both love it. Yeah. Right now, you you want to be the goat? Make the non-believer like your music. Mm. When you do that, no. When you think of the goat of Christian hip hop, you're talking about. In order to be the goat in Christian hip hop, and 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 I'm probably the only one that even cares to have this discussion because the rest of them like they don't want to talk. About it, <laughs> yeah. Right. This is like don't have this conversation around us, Dante. We don't want to hear that crap. But I be in that group, and it makes me. It, they've educated me, right? Yeah. So so look, the goat in Christian hip hop, the goal of Christian hip hop is to get to the level of white suburbia. That's not the culture of hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. That's not the, the true hip hop head. All they know is hip hop. Right. All they know is what the four to five, what is it? Four elements of hip hop, five elements of hip hop. I don't even remember. Yeah. Um, this is their hip hop is a culture. And if we govern what the goat is, based off of fame it's it's impossible to do it right because if we go based off of fame then snoop dogg is the greatest hip-hop rap uh rapper Christian of all rapper time. yeah more yeah, famous true. than any rapper to ever live mm -hmm. he is not jigga <laughs> not, right he, he he's not a a a a a, a biggie right. right he's not a pop but reality is he's the most famous so if we use fame to dictate this, we can't. Only thing we can do is base it off a of skill set mm -hmm. and Christian accountability, like really being a a a a uh, providing the Christian side that goes along with the hip hop, the CHH, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, true, true ministry, right? right? Because that's what a lot of people say is like that that CHH is is a ministry. Yeah, right. So they what does that ministry look like? What does that ministry look like? Right? <laughs> That's right. right. So, so the, the, the key of, of, of CHH, from what I see, and this is only an opinion, so it doesn't mean anything to anybody, right? Right. right. Um, the key to it is to get in front of the corporate church to be famous. Mm. For us, it's the opposite of that. It's yeah. to create content to do more ministry in front of the hood the people that would listen to the music like it's it's not for the sake of of being famous right mm -hmm. um yeah. i don't i have zero desire i have zero desire to be famous right and to be honest i've been through right now i'm on my third phase of, of music i've been on my phase of making music for myself mm -hmm. i've wrote the music for the fans and today I write for the hip hop heads to stop saying that the West Coast don't have bars. Uh, 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 hog mob rappers can't rap seven, only one in hog mob that can rap. That's the whole <laughs> purpose of this hog millennium thing is that seven can step down and other men can walk, stand up, rise up and carry the whole uh, carry the platform without yeah. seven being the face. Mm -hmm. Right. So like for me. And and dudes like Diamond and Ivy and J Rock, like we, he gave us the platform. Now put your pen to, to use. Let's do the music because mm -hmm. we're known for the music, even though it's the least amount of what we do, right? But let's give them, let's give them what what they asking for. And right, I right, know right. since this thing has dropped, since we've been dropping songs, we haven't dropped a weak one yet. Everything's been been of great quality. All right. the rappers have produced major bars, and it's been consistent every week. Y'all dropping a new every video, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Right. But Just keep up for a while. But when you when you are yeah, in at the least, studio, at least seven videos, right? Oh, right now, on that brother, huh? Uh, we got like we did seven in three days, but we recorded, we filmed three more or four more after that. 
right? We got and then murder. That, that, and the animals. East Coast cats been. I know. I'm, they, I yeah. think I'm on like eight. Oh yeah. By myself. Oh, I'm gonna tell you right now. The mom. <laughs> listen, listen, my Millennium album. Dante and Diamond, them brothers. <laughs> <Went off. laughs> okay. Them brothers went off. Okay. No, but <laughs> yeah, they did. You know what? Honestly, though, we got we got enough stuff to bleed well into two uh, two thousand twenty one. Right. right. Well into it. Like yeah. I mean, we talking about we might hit second quarter easy. Yep. Um, mm. By the grace of God. Well, I mean, right now, this is just my millennium. This ain't nobody's individual project yet. Right, oh, right, right, right. You know, listen, we, we, we can't talk about that. It, that's too much music. Dude, I got so many <laughs> songs and videos on Diamond, it's pathetic. Like, like, oh, like, I got Diamond pretty much his whole project. Like, I'm ready to tell him when to drop in, or not to drop a song. Like, <laughs> like, hey, we're going to put it in this order. This is when we're going to put it out. <laughs> and J-Rock got songs. Me and Ivy got songs. This is the... Yep. I'm, I got, a, I got a right. full, I got a full album already done. Video so, shot, everything. Right. Yeah, me too. Oh, bazooka, bazooka got yeah, work. Bazooka, bazooka got, got a class, Bazooka's a beast. Classic. Man, yeah, listen, he's nice. Hey, hey, bazooka, album, look, bro. Video. bazooka hey. got some hard videos too. Yeah, Bazooka got an album that's finna be a classic. Hey, yeah, it's mm. definitely gonna be a classic. When we went to North Carolina. I ain't gonna lie hey. to you, man. Bazooka, Zadok, hey. Fonz, yeah, and Seven and Seven Deuce. Them five had me nervous. Them five had me nervous. So I'm like, all right, hey, nope, that syllable's off. That put another win. Them dudes, yeah, they had me nervous. I wasn't worried about Ivy because Ivy is West Coast. <laughs> So, 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 I already know. I don't, I don't got to worry about Ivy because Ivy's going to result back to his old tricks. He, he, his old I, tricks. I, I, because I, I do it just naturally go in and be you, right? right. But I have never, be, I, I went to the East Coast first time over there and I already knew what Zadok and Fonznell was going to do. They from New York. So I'm mm -hmm. like, Oh yeah, they finna come with this New York. I'm finna show them how to <laughs> bang on, right? The West Coast rock. <laughs> hey, they went in that cipher. I was like, oh man. I was saying, they slid. Rock, they slid I might on need that. to rewrite my verse. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's so, Diamond. That's so. uh, Diamond no, I, hadn't, no. I hadn't heard. The went... No, no, huh? I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, no, no I was just saying, the artistry when uh, Sev. Since well, I would say since Sev uh kind of bowed out from the from, from from the mic has been awesome. I'm gonna tell you something. Like I knew from long time Dante was coming off hard, but like this my millennium, just bam, 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 bam. Everything Dante been touching has been like yeah. crazy. Then crazy. Diamond comes. I'm like, who's okay? I can introduce. To Diamond from the homie Deuce, and we on really Bible study, not even music like that. Mm -hmm. Just Bible. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we getting into apologetics and all that good stuff. And then when I hear him just bang, bang, all on this project, it's very special. Uh, this is th th this is something that is God ordained for a time like this because man, this is before COVID-19 when when we started linking up and uh right. was. I would say diamond specifically, uh, you know, being being new too, because I was I was I was like the new, and then diamond, um, but it, it's 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 organic because it's relative topics to deal with what we're going through, and hopefully navigate people who really embrace the music that we do and appreciate it, navigate them through the hardships that we you know that we're going through now and that we're gonna go through in the next year. Right. Uh, everybody's so were um so uh pumped up about 2020 being over when it's like who knows what God got in store for 2001, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, right? Like, but, um, right, you know, what I'm saying 2021, and and so it's like, man, by the grace of God, man, uh, we need we need music to speak to us, we need real sermons, we need real pastors with God's heart, uh, with God's heart to really give us the real, and so. 
this music though, right now, man, all the stuff that I've heard from these brothers, all the stuff that God has been putting on my heart is crazy for this time. Crazy for this time. And dope, man, I dope. just yeah. Listen, um, uh, so everybody knows somebody's uh hog mob is gonna be coming out with a lot of music um now and in 2021. But I want to ask one last question, and that's where can people find you and where can they support you? Yeah, and donate too. Yeah, so so under the under one umbrella, under one umbrella, uh you want to go to hogmob.com, right? But like I said, hog mob is is a ministry, we're not a record label. So inside of Hog Mob, we all have uh uh different ministries. In regards to my music, um I I really can care less about the music. If you're gonna if you're gonna pour pour in and so see the fertile soil is in the ministry. So I would say go to uh project uh dash uh west dot org mm -hmm. um and be a blessing to the home. Um the music I mean, it's it's out there. Go to YouTube. I'm not gonna hate on you if you want to go to iTunes and all that for my personal music. Hog my music. Um, go to the YouTube. Um, Hog my ministries. Subscribe there. Um, go to hogmob.com to get merchandise, music because all that goes to Hog Mob. Go back in the uh, back in the ministry. Um, my personal music. I ain't, I won't really plug that. <laughs> Just look up Dante. They'll find you. <laughs> find if you would uh if you would have pulled it off of YouTube and, and bootleg it, I wouldn't care, man. Don't bother me. It's a dude that says he got a rusty mag. I say I got a, hold on, I done put in so much work, got a musty flag. Still got a 45 with a rusty mag. Still hanging with the gangsters. I must be bad, but God. <laughs> When I be on, so he must be glad. <laughs> hey, that's dope. That's dope. What about the rest of you fellas? Yeah, you go blessed. find them all on Hog Mob, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm on Hog Mob Ministries YouTube, but like you say, you can get it on uh, any platform you want under Hog Mob. Oh, Hog you know Mob what though? Hey, 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 yeah. hey! But for real though, and hey, uh. uh I think it's imperative though, Diamond. You and Ivy, sure y'all. Um, Y'all the socials or IDs something, yeah. Stuff so they yeah. can come to uh, both y'all because y'all got a lot of stuff coming, and um, sometimes it's just easier to get to Definitely. to get to y'all. So but sure all, y also, play. also, I wanna I wanna follow up with that, man. I think it's important even for for the music for people to support, even just to listen in the you know in these uh, streaming platforms because. Every penny counts, you know what I'm saying? And that could go back to the ministry and what you brothers are doing and record more music. Right. Because to be honest with you, like with me, when I first got saved, I couldn't relate to the church. And so I listened to a lot of CHH. Um, one of one of the one of the first um groups that I heard was cross movement. I was watching BET smoking a blunt and I right. saw cross movement come on. So I think music is very important so I, I really would like your brothers to share like your, your social media just so that people can follow you and follow the ministry you know Man. yeah well um my social uh media is just iv the letter i the letter v connerly c-o-n-e-r-l-y and if you put an ad in front of that that's my twitter that's my instagram so at iv connerly uh my twitter instagram you can follow me there. I'm always posting uh, stuff, getting ready to come and whatnot. Uh, and also, uh, I would say, uh, yeah, that's the same when it comes to my artist name on Spotify, Apple Music. Um, and you'll see me underneath a couple umbrellas. Infantry with uh, Eshawn Burgundy and all the homies. Oh, uh, okay. There, the okay. Um, so I've been rocking with Infantry since 2000. And 17 it got official 2018 i believe and then hog mob the same year 2018 so hog mob infantry you'll you know you'll see a bunch of my stuff if you just google google me pretty much on all the uh major platforms i'm there and every well excuse me i would say this yeah everything when it comes to uh my personal, <laughs> like my personal, like if you ever, if you ever, so, if you ever so happen to Google me, 
And you see, I'm like, ah. <laughs> you see, you see, like, ah, I'm just, <laughs> that's, pre, that's BC, that's BC. Right, right. <laughs> and you know, and you see, I got some cracking, like, in the, you know, in my local ministry, PayPal or something like that. If you see that information, <laughs> that'll go straight to just ministry here locally. But all the other stuff, when I get my uh, distro kid, <laughs> there's a good percentages that go straight to the ministry, and then the good percentages that keep this house afloat too. Yeah, no. <laughs> but anyway, dope, dope. <laughs> dope. <laughs> well, thank you, brothers. We really, really Yo, appreciate it. Hold yeah, on, yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diamond underscore hog mob, D Y M O N D underscore hog mob. That's Instagram. That's all I got right now, y'all. I ain't a, a social media dude, man. So y'all gonna have to catch me there, man. Dope. Underscore H O G M O B. That's the best place to find me, man. Oh, and Dope. check out what's coming out, man. Shameless plug. Me and the homie Dante, man. Go yeah. Friday. Friday, right? Friday. Yeah. Yeah, Friday. 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 Next uh, Friday murder. is Animal. Yeah. Mm. Nope. Mm. We, on we on it. <laughs> uh, how about you, J Rock? Oh man, I'm just here so I don't get fined. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. You, you see, I ain't said nothing all, all night. Right. But, uh, I'm wow. just here so I don't get fined, man. That's all. But um, you know, I do have a, a Facebook. You just search J Rock Westsiders Hall Mob and you'll find me. Um, for for the most part, um, you know, if anything is going to come from any type of blessing or so on your seed, you can go to giving at projectwest.org and that'll help out with the house a lot or like like Dante said go to Hogmont Ministries YouTube channel subscribe you can watch everything there you know what I mean other than that I'm on the hush man unless I, I have to speak you know I, I don't want to get hey, hey don't hey see that's that's when you was in the street and you probably was still really really with the business you gotta watch dudes like J-Rob yeah bro. right <laughs> so watch them in the cut. Oh I got him Tay don't even worry about it. He in my yeah. scope. He's a he's a sniper. <laughs> yeah he's a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that I need one of them save but not soft um tees. Yo, them, them, that's hard. I got you, bro. I got you. Yo. Just uh hit me with your address and uh I get you plugged. Save right. not soft. A lot of people, I know we finna get ready to go, but a lot of people look at save not soft like we saying we saved and we tough. That's not what save not soft mean. What save not soft mean is like we save um but when you see us worshiping God, when you see us crying out, when you see us loving on one another, that's not because we soft. Mm. You know what I mean? We not soft. Real we man. not we we not too soft to not to to not do those things. You know what I mean? We're still men, but we cry, we hug, we love on one another, dog. Like like uh, save not soft. When you see those things, like don't think of it as being soft. This is what real men look like. Mm. You know what I mean? Like they say, real men real men don't cry. That's a lie. Mm, yeah, I mean, so that's the meaning of save not soft. Save